fuck me. The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the sound of the geese. So you're really going to block the star of Gore World just because I'm defending myself against people? Are you serious? The star of Gore World? Hey everybody! Hello, girl gang. It's so good to see you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend, and uh, I'm real glad that you're here to kind of end it wind down this sunday together have a good time a little laugh a little rage god only knows mm? uh i'm sure you've all heard by now <clears throat> our girl has unquit the internet again oh julie hey girl thank you for the super chat thank you for being here for our very petty sunday <laughs> nice to see you so listen listen our girl posted up on her community tab already here it is hold on let me get it uh, remember, she has now quit the internet, what, three times in the past 10 days, okay? So here is what she posted. Wait, I can't see it. I can never see it. What is this? This is not the pit. Tabarnak. I'm so bad with this. Okay, one of these years I'll get better at doing this. Here we go. Okay, here is what she posted. I'm not, not going to touch anything. Okay, okay, yes. I plan on coming back. I want to post in a buy a haul. No one wants in a buy a haul. Does anyone want in a buy a haul? I don't want to fucking a buy a haul. Anywho. But also, I mean, how can I be such an ass as to ignore you guys who leave such amazing comments and enjoy my content? <laughs> you like me for me, and I appreciate it so much. I will just say this. I am not mentally stable sometimes and get emotionally overwhelmed. So who knows how many times I will quit again in the future. Oh God, it went on and I didn't have the rest of it. Wait a minute. Well, here, oh, okay. Uh, but LOL, but I will probably always come back to LOL. Sometimes we just need a mental health break from it all little heart honorable shout out to all who left me amazing comments and so the comments this is great and also encouraging thank you for sharing what do you mean goodbye beauty goodbye foodie beauties you better not go anywhere thank you Shandal, for teaching us about your journey it was lovely to hear your prayer also the food looked delicious who are these freaks? I mean, Tracy TX, we know you, girl. What food has looked delicious? Listen, listen, your journey sucks. No one cares about your journey. The food looks like garbage. You don't need to go through your fucking comments, like cherry picking the ones from the loyal weezers to make your argument. You didn't want to quit the internet. It's literally not that deep, bro. And so you're already back. Okay. We knew you'd come back. <laughs> she needs some damn weed in her life. I mean, Christy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Thanks for being here. She was gone for one day. Yeah, one freaking day because she's apparently, if, if you believe it, fasting now and participating in Ramadan now and stuff. And she couldn't handle doing Ramadan and having to put up with the internet. She raged quit two days in. Two freaking days in, she had to quit, quit the internet, lash out at everyone on the internet as if it's our fault that she can't fucking handle herself during Ramadan. Girl, please. Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. We put a half pound of America's favorite roast beef on this half pound beef and cheddar. That doesn't include the weight of the other stuff, but we're certain the onion bun, cheddar sauce, and red ranch make it heavier. Are they just like flat out paying you for this? <laughs> Be honest. What is Arby's paying you for this? Lord Baroque, I'm on to you. <laughs> You're sick and I like it. Kaylee, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. Oh, the Gucci collar was ridiculous. Nobody's getting a Gucci collar. Let's all just relax. 
We were trying to make a point on that day. Nobody needs a Gucci collar. Oh my God. Table neck. I love your name so much because every time I read it, I want to say tabarnak. Table neck. Thank you for the super chat. Tomorrow's your birthday. Ooh. Oh my God. And it's 38. Well, welcome to 38. I am also 38. So I'm biased. And I'm going to say, welcome to your best year ever. Happy early birthday to you. That's fantastic. Fantastic. What BBJ deserves a Gucci collar? No, nobody needs a B. Nobody needs a BBJ. Oh, nobody needs a Gucci collar. That's ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. BBJ could use a Gucci collar. Y'all are being nuts. No, no, absolutely no. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. Cool story, bro. All six socks account that salad made to leave positive. I mean, it definitely could be. They're all uh, salad in her sock accounts, plus that Tracy TX fucking lunatic. Lunatic. She needs a little Gucci cat purse. <laughs> Gucci collar for the baby. Stop it. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Celebrating my 10-year anniversary of quitting smoking today. <gasps> that is fantastic. Congratulations. Please tell my besties, Lord of the Fruit Flies, feel better because she has the vid. No, Lord of the Fruit Flies, I hope you're feeling better soon. Oh my God, rest, drink all the fluids, and take all the naps. And Pixie, congratulations on a 10 year of quitting smoking. That's that's really a feat, girl. That's something. Well done. Ah, I love it. Look at the, they're all still talking about the Gucci collar. Stop it with the Gucci collar. Nobody's getting a Gucci collar. Yes, it can be a knockoff. I'm willing to spend what? What's a good collar? 25 bucks? $25 is my fucking limit. And it's a cat. It shouldn't even, what is it? It, it would probably look like a fucking little piece of a, what do you call it? Dental floss. <laughs> a fucking cat collar. I can't even imagine how small and dainty. It's probably like a puppy collar. Oh, <laughs> Nikki, thank you for the super sticker girl. I appreciate it. Go to Canal Street for a knockoff. <laughs> she does deserve a real Gucci collar. You're being ridiculous absolutely ridiculous now nobody needs a gucci collar get it in blue for bbj <laughs> i would like a purple one isn't that the color of royalty she is queen bbj after all just saying just saying it's funny that we're talking so much about bbj and you guys are stuck on this fucking collar for bbj there's no gucci collar just get your minds out of the gucci gutter okay talking about bbj however like we were not last night we weren't live the night before Friday night, we were talking about BBJ, specifically because Chantal and her big mouth mentioned in her stream that she was so devastated on the day she gave up the cats. Giving up the cats devastated her. Ah. And we went, oh, really, Bish? And we discussed that Beano Bees stream, the stream that she did, what, 20 minutes after me and my brother left her house with BBJ? Um... And we said we would rewatch that stream together because when it was all happening, I was in like, tweet, 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 tweet. I, I, was, I was worried about my mission, all right? So that is the plan for tonight. We are going to be taking a look at the Beano Bees stream together, sped up and watching until we're bored. And we're going to see just how devastated this woman was to give up her abused pet. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat, girl. Got my wedding anniversary in five days. Celebrate seven years married. That's fantastic. Congratulations on your anniversary, too. That is right. Everybody having their anniversaries. I love this. That's lovely. More memes. Thank you for the super chat. The Gucci collar would be worth it just for foodie's reaction. Oh, don't make me do it out of spite. Oh, no. <laughs> You've just hit my spite nerve. I love making moves out of spite. Damn it, why'd you have to say it like that? <laughs> Ooh, the temptation to go to the Gucci site. <sighs> All right, let me at least see what they have. Well, listen, 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 <laughs> listen, Linda. We'll discuss this on Twitch, okay? We'll, we'll peruse the Gucci site on Twitch and maybe we'll make a decision. I don't know. Damn it, why did you have to word it like that? This is your fault. More memes, I blame you. Yeah, we're getting the Gucci collar out of spite. Chantal is not bobbing for apples. Never has been, never will be. Thank you for the super chat. I'm making stickers for the summer. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. 
I'm looking around, not making eye contact with the computer, but you guys can see that. I don't know what you're talking about, but I love that. Yay. Make those stickers, Beach. Yay. Summer's coming, Beach. I can't fucking wait. Yes, it's a spike collar. She's going to have a spike collar. It is what it is. Oh, is it really? Don't. <laughs> it's only 280. If it, I mean, only 280 sounds ridiculous, but is that's quite a bit less than, let's say, just the ring from the other day that we gave away. I didn't realize. I just assumed everything there kind of starts at a thousand dollars, you know. Astrofet, thank you for the super chat. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess this is happening. Tabachnek. Fine, fine. I don't know what time. I have some shit to do tomorrow early in the day. When I'm done with the shit I have early to do in the day tomorrow, we'll go live on Twitch and we'll 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 just we'll browse. Okay. I promise nothing. We will browse tomorrow together. You guys are such a bad influence. Oh my god. You know what I tried to find? Sidebar, Gucci sidebar for a second. Gucci sidebar. We are such a classy group. Gucci sidebar for a second. When we did the giveaway for the ring, I tried to find, I don't know if you guys remember when we were window shopping on Gucci, there was a little hair clip and it was a cat in a banana. Do you guys remember that? I tried to find that so bad because of BBJ and her little banana bed. I thought that would have been the perfect little giveaway item and it was gone. Or slash, I didn't look hard enough. Oh, can you go on the Gucci site with us? Yes, Sarah, we definitely will. We love to do a little luxury window shopping, but we do that kind of dirty action on Twitch. We need our little intimate beezing setting to be so disgusting. So tomorrow we will be disgusting together over on the Twitch, okay? That girl, thank you for the super chat. Gucci collar and Adidas booties. Adidas booties, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I know they have collars. Listen, we're not kidding. <laughs> they literally have pet collars, little leashes, bowls and beds and all kinds of crap for the pets. It's ridiculous. I love it. Lil D, thank you for the super chat. That's right. A Gucci spite collar. It's like, why'd you spend all that money? Why'd you get that collar out of spite? To spite the previous owner who's an asshole. <laughs> I'll be that bitch. I don't mind. Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. Spite Gucci collar fun. All right. I like that bad look at you all like this. <laughs> That's that spite propels me. I love it. We're all sick like that. Phoenix flying. Thank you for the super chat. Listen, listen, we will peruse together tomorrow. Okay. We'll decide on one together. We'll, we'll look at them all. We'll have a little poll. We'll decide which one we get. They have pet bull covers at $895. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, my God. Spite Gucci Collar. Yes. <laughs> I love your name. Thank you for the super chat. Gucci Collar Gang Gang. Uh, I hate us so much, and yet I love it, too, because it's so ridiculous and hilarious. <laughs> Pet Bowl for 1750 bucks. Wow. Wow. Wait, why are you saying happy Ramadan to Allah? Is Allah in here? Because like happy Ramadan to Allah, but if he's in here, somebody block him. Ah, Allah, I see you are in here. I'm uh, I'm sorry to tell you, but you never came through. We were more than patient with you. We are not the place for you to look for, I don't know, subs or cloud or whatever the fuck it is. We waited for your tea. There was fuck all done. You're a whole lot of mouth and no action at all. And so, <laughs> sorry, bro, but uh, you're blocked on this channel. You don't exist to us anymore. Bye 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 Happy Ramadan to you. Uh, Ashley, thank you for the super chat, girl. The super sticker. I really appreciate it. Listen, that was the deal we had. We're not playing that fucking game. <laughs> Ala, bye 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 Okay? Go play with Jessica Mesica. We don't give a fuck over here. Uh, 48 hour fiance, FFG save BBJ's little toe beans. Thank you for the super chat. BBJ gets a Gucci collar. Uh, Chantal can't get windows. <laughs> can't get windows. Can't get, you know, a man to chill with her without paying him. <laughs> can't get anything but a bootleg perfume. <laughs> whatever, whatever. We can make that list long. Alexandra K, thank you for the super chat. FFG is like my mom at the mall. We'll just have a look. We won't buy anything. Spends two hundred dollars. Yeah, right. If you go into it thinking we're just we're just looking, 
then you hate yourself a little less during the look. <laughs> Is that fair? <laughs> Shut up. I hate it. Libra, thank you for the super chat, girl. Hi, Frenchie and girl gang here to continue my girl gang lesson. <gasps> Libra, are you a Bambi? Are you like kind of new to Shantopolis? If you are welcome, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Omnipotent Mama, thank you for the super chat. BBJ spike collar fun. Okay, well now listen, we'll let, we have to do it now. We have to fucking do it now. Look at everyone's putting in the stop putting in loops for the collar. We're gonna do the damn collar, okay? Schrodinger's cat flap. Thank you for the super chat. We'll do it. I promise we'll fucking do it. All right. I never sub to Allah. Mm. Never sub to Allah. He's a pussy. <laughs> Jesus, tell us how you really feel. But I agree. <laughs> Not pussy, but I'll talk. Hmm? I had a feeling at the beginning it might be all talk because I know there's a lot of big talkers in this world and he really came off as one. But benefit of the doubt, we all love some tea. I thought, you know what? Let's hold off on the attack. We will give benefit of the doubt. We will hope that something comes from it. Fuck all did. We don't play your fucking games anymore. Okay, no, no. Loose meat supreme dirty. Thank you for the super chat. Force my Quebecois husband to watch your Montreal driving videos this weekend. And I'm still giving him, wait, shit for not bringing me to Julep. But now he's a fry guy. Hey, well, welcome to the fried side. I can't believe he didn't bring you to the Julep. The, the biggest, Chantal's words, the biggest tourist trap in Montreal. How could he not? <laughs> Becca, thank you for the super chat. The power of spite compels you. <laughs> certainly does look oh my god elizabeth thank you for the super chat frenchie you can't put a price on being spiteful you're right <laughs> you're right you're right you guys are right i don't know what to say carlotta thank you for the super chat gucci chair for when you can't sit ff jake can you imagine i'm not buying that gucci chair that's ridiculous ten thousand dollars for a chair if i won the lotto okay and i was like a I don't know. I want a hundred million dollars. I still could never justify buying that fucking chair. It's just too ridiculous. Although I love it so much. I love it the most. Van City Kitty. Thank you for the super chat for the spike collar fund. <laughs> why? Thank you so much. I love how many spiteful biatches there are in this group. It's, it's partly why we all get along. I'm sure. Sleepy Moo. Thank you for the super chat. BBJ spike collar fun. Cause we are petty here. We certainly are. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Miss Zippy, thank you for the super chat. Spike collar fund. Love it. Thank you. Julie, thank you for the super chat. You know, I gotta add to the fund. You guys are so funny. So fuck away. Now, now we're gonna have to do it. You've peer pressured me into it. <laughs> Wait a minute. KBS. Sorry, FFG. That chair is not pretty. I know, but that's the point. You ever seen something in life that's like so hideous you like it? I like that. I like that. I don't know what to say. I really do. Uh, not the gumdrop buttons. Thank you for the super chat. I love you, Evergy. Throws bra on stage. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you sick. Oh, I like it. Gucci Gang Gamer Girl, you've never? Never? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love sometimes, like, little ugly things. Of, oh, they really, they're so cute. There's like, yeah, it's on personality. Exactly. Loving and caring. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay, we're definitely going to do the Gucci collar because at this point, y'all have bought it. Trips the Petty Beach. Thank you for the super chat. We will add it. Definitely. And shout out to my love, Rebellion. Hey, Rebellion. Hope you're having a great weekend too, boo. And Margaret, thank you for the super chat. My darling rescue boy is chilling next to me watching Mouse TV while I work. That's so cute. He wants me to send you this with a spike collar. <laughs> you fucking... I love that. And I love that there's actually something called Mouse TV. How adorable is that? Tracy, thank you for the super chat. BBJ Scholar. <laughs> it's going to it for sure. Dynamite, thank you for the super chat. Add to the fun. Okay, listen, listen. Y'all have bought the collar at this point. Stop. Do Hickey, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I think we're all, we enjoyed last, uh, last Sunday being petty, yeah? It's like now we're looking for it on this Sunday. NASA tab test. Thank you for the super chat. Spite fund. Stay mad, baby. <laughs> She's going to be so pissed. Alicia Brophy. Thank you for the super chat. Gucci Gucci for BBJ. At this point, maybe we will buy her the chair. Jesus. Uh, Mama J. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Frenchie, you cheer me up. The collar is, mwah. the collar is, 
Oh, I love it so. I love it the most. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. Fort Sniffers Anonymous, thank you so, so much for the super chat. We getting petty? Wait for my spiteful bum bloop. <laughs> thank you so much, Fort Sniffers Anonymous. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are so fucking hilarious. Gucci pet bed, are we moving up now from the collar? Relax, everybody, relax. <laughs> Y'all are psycho and I live for it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, all right. <clears throat> I'm just deciding before we get going, how petty do I want to be tonight? And it's not even about being petty. It's about, no, we're going to save it for another day. All right. So like I said, the plan for tonight, we are getting into the Beano Bees stream. Now, this is the stream, like we said, our girl insisted two days ago, she was so devastated when she gave away the cats. Um, the video evidence says otherwise. So we're going to be watching that together for sure. Just Jamie, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. Flutes, my goots, thank you, girl. Appreciate it. Anything that triggers booty beauty. <laughs> Y'all are petty. And I like it. I like it a lot. I like it the most. Nem, thank you for the super chat, girl. For the BBJ spike collar, I like the red one they have on their site. Oh, red. Oh, red, my favorite color, you don't say. All right, we, we will decide together. We'll watch tomorrow for sure on the Twitch, okay? And y'all will pick, we'll do a poll of which one you want. Whichever one wins is the one we will get. Smart Tarts, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. Graveyard Flowers, thank you for the super chat. To add a boss tag to the, <gasps> oh my God, we'll go and do that. You know, like the plaques you can, like, what are they called? Like the, the little name tags or whatever you can print. I guess for outdoor cats, they would have them too. Like a dog has them, right? And it'll just say, boss. I love that. And it'll be gold because of course it'll be gold. I do believe. Anyway, I think Gucci has little tags too. You can buy whatever, whatever. We'll look tomorrow. Coach Mummy, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. <laughs> the matching leash. Do you put a cat on a leash? I don't know how that works, but we'll look into this. For the love of, wait, for the love of Slipknot, thank you for the super chat, girl. Peer pressure, spike collar fun. Listen, it's done. It is done. <laughs> Stay jealous, Chanta. <laughs> she probably has never owned anything like, let's say, luxury in her life. And now the fucking cat's going to have something. The cat that she wanted to mark is going to have something of, it, of luxury before she ever does. I love that. Noetic Justice, thank you for the super chat, girl. We certainly are, right? Oh, my God. Electric Mother Atelier. Thank, uh, Electric Moth Atelier. Thank you for the super chat. Do they sell Gucci tiaras? Like, they probably do. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Y'all are insane. Gaylee, thank you for the super chat. Frenchie Oprah, you get a caller and you get a caller. Everybody gets a caller. <laughs> so stupid. Henny, thank you for the super chat, girl. Spike caller fun. Not an Aries, but my Virgo ass can be petty, too. Love that the most. Thanks for being here, girl. The White Knight, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Oh, my God. The R-Man. Thank you for the super chat. When you get the collar, take a pick and use it for one stream instead of the Renaissance baby pick. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll have a little photo shoot with BBJ when we get that collar. <laughs> FFG tacky ass. Could you, how dare you? Unicorn Pondu. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Madame Midu. Thank you for the super chat. Footy Beauty is as happy with her life as the Doherty doesn't are with that moussaka. But I'm ching. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're right. You're definitely right. La -dee da, thank you for the super chat. I've been thinking you're Carol Baskin because you say BBJ and Footy Beauty hates you like the Tiger King. Plus, she loves screaming your name too. <laughs> you're right, girl. Rachel, thank you for the super chat for the BBJ Gucci collar and BBJ will have something more expensive than her ring bloop. Oh, guaranteed she does. Oh, guaranteed she, <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Lifley Art, thank you for the super chat. Can't donate much, but I'm getting a fat tattoo next month and traveling four hours across the UK for a full day session. Ooh, it's my collar fun, let's go. Uh, enjoy your travel. Enjoy your tattoo. That's fantastic, boo. Fatima, thank you for the super chat for BBJ matching <laughs> Gucci leash. We'll see if it exists. I mean, it exists, but 
Can a cat have a leash? I don't know. I'm down if they can. Nine lives. Thank you for the super chat. Gucci spike collar fund. Listen, it's done. It's happening. It's done. Emotional support muffin. Thank you for the super chat. Well, crap, because I'm a spiteful muffin and I despise a certain cosplaying scuba diver. Here you go. Thank you so much, emotional support muffin. And I love that people are calling her a scuba diver. It's so freaking accurate. It's almost scary. Sprout, thank you for the super chat. I'm already imagining Chantal's reaction. I'm picturing punching the air and eating all the snacks for the guests. Wink, you know? FFG's tacky ass Gucci chair. Yes, bitch. Thank you for the super chat. Did someone say something about a chair? You're gorgeous. I'm always going to love you. That chair is beautiful. It really is so ugly. It's stunning. Whoever says that chair is ugly, go and check your fucking eyes. Look at that thing. It's a, a piece of art. You don't sit on it. You hang it on the fucking wall. Have a little respect for my hideous chair, goddammit. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Glad I remembered my headphones so I can listen at work and my contribution to the caller. Thank you so much for the contribution, but I'll, I'll try and speak a little lower if you got headphones in. Damn, that must really fucking hurt. Not even lying. <laughs> Mary <Mario> Babe, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I love BBJ the most for her. Thank you so much, girl. I appreciate it. 48 hour fiance. Thank you again for super chat. Happy birthday, chins. BBJ gets a Gucci collar. Oh my God. <laughs> You're fucking right. <laughs> Happy birthday, chins. Oh my God. Um, Snoopy the cat. Thank you for the super chat, girl. To add to the Gucci spite fund. I love that. Thank you so much. Miss T, thank you for the super chat. Spite, a cause never, and wait, a cause ne uh, never and dear to my heart. Agreed. I do so much out of spite. I make moves out of spite. Spite guides me. Hmm? <laughs> Delaware Pearl, thank you for the super chat. In solidarity with my fellow Gucci gang members, this is for the Canadian Kitty Queen BBJ's caller also. F Chantal. Agreed. Thank you very much, Delaware Pearl. And y'all can be little Gucci twinsies, you and BBJ. Love that. Addicted to cold brew. Thank you for the super chat. Bloop, we get your cat beach. <laughs> Imagine. And she wanted to murk the cat. And we're we're buying her fucking ridiculous things. I love that the most. Fucking BBJ's thriving. Thriving until the end of her life now. Rachel, hey, thank you for the super chat. Foodie Beauty has me blocked. For the caller fund, hope Foodie Beauty is counting these super chats every 199 counts. Stay mad, baby. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> I'm sure she is. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. Oh my God, for the spiteful Gucci cat carrier. Can you imagine if Gucci made a cat carrier because BBJ shits in the carrier every single time she goes in the car? What kind of a queen shits on Gucci? I fucking love it so much. <laughs> Just to be like, oh, the cat shit in the Gucci again. It would be so funny. Maggie K, thank you for the super chat. Maybe Gucci pet sweater too. Oh my God, they're so ridiculously expeasy, but we'll we'll look at everything tomorrow, okay? We definitely will. Brooke, thank you for the super chat. BBJ uh, Luxury Lifestyle Fund. Luxury Lifestyle Fund. Oh, fuck me, man. <laughs> this is nuts. Thank you for the super chat. Hazel Eyes, thank you for the super sticker, girl. I appreciate it. West Coast girl, thank you for the super chat. BBJ's collar is worth more than Chantal's ring. It absolutely fucking lutely is. I would bet money on that shit. A Gucci blanket. Oh my God, a Gucci blanket because Chantal keeps talking about this uh, this cigarette burned blanket. Oh, really? Oh, really? What you're saying is she needs a little upgrade? <laughs> we can make that happen, B. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Holly D, thank you for the super chat. Oh, oh, your kitty starts the arthritis shot this week. That's... Oh, I'm so glad. I hope it, fingers crossed, it works like a miracle for your pet too. It's, it's, it's supposed to be like that. It's, it's so like hit or miss, but it hits with a lot of pets. So I have my fingers crossed. It works like a miracle for you guys too. That's great. Vitamin chaos. Thank you for the super chat for a matching petty red Adidas collar. That's so cute. <laughs> Sandra. I love it. How about a Gucci blankie? I think she deserves one. Thank you for the super chat. Sassy Mama, thank you for the super chat. Bloop, stay mad, baby. BBJ Spike Collar Fun. Thank you, girl. Appreciate it. Oh, a cat has a harness, not a leash. That's what I thought. Okay, a harness. We will see if they have harnesses. 
<laughs> FFG's tacky ass Gucci chair. Thank you for the super chat. Got your chair, bloop. <laughs> Beach, how dare you? Um, Om girl, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. BBJ definitely wins. Wait, I just whooshed past that in the BBJ definitely wins. Unfucking deniably. Mandy, thank you for the super the super chat. <laughs> thank you, Mandy. Chipping in for a bit of the bling. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, girl. Raven Lunatic, thank you for the super chat. A uh, Tiffany Cat Bowl. How classy. How elegant. Oh my God, that's adorable. What about a little crystal? You know, like the Fancy Feast, the old Fancy Feast commercials? And they would have like the cat, that decadent white cat eating out of the little crystal bowl, you know? I think she needs a little crystal bowl for her wet food. Olga, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. My hot mess life. Thank you for the super chat. For Spike Collar from my two Yorkies, Biggie Smalls and Tupac. What cute names. I love that. Thank you so much. And the fact that it's it's a little, a little Yorkie named Biggie Smalls is cute. <laughs> Jess, thank you for the super chat. BBJ, for BBJ to get an Adidas collar next, that would be really cute. That's that's so much more my vein. <laughs> we could match. Be like, my niece and my aunt. Little little. We would do a Christmas card together. Oh, my God. In our matching Adidas. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have plans. Hold on. Nikki D, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Stay mad. Printed on it for shits and get. She would be so mad. I love that so much. Can we vote blanket or collar DJ? I think at this point we're we're kind of, we're leaning towards both. Uh, per Parisis, thank you for the super chat. Whatever the Gucci collar costs, I will give a matching donation to the animal shelter of your choice, Frenchie. That's really sweet of you to offer, but... I mean, like, I'm not telling you what to do with your life, but I'm saying when this whole stupid collar thing was brought up, I, I said, I will absolutely do that because like, this is ridiculous. You know what I mean? Whatever the Gucci collar costs, I will absolutely donate the same value to a cat cause in my city. 100%. Uh, I would feel like a real prick if I didn't. So that's definitely, definitely going to happen. I'm not telling you not to, but just know I'm definitely going to do that. All right. On behalf of us, like from the girl gang. Uh, Razumi, thank you for the super chat. BBJ is too old, but there are some cats that love leash walks like dogs. That's so sweet. Oh, how nice. I love that. Uh, BBJ greeting cards. That would be really cute. Oh, that would be really, really cute. Uh, Sloosh, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. All right. All right. I'm still a little behind on the chat. Hold on, guys. Zach Zhu, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Uh, Spike Collar Fun. What a great birthday gift. <clears throat> I'm sure Chantal will love that. Mm. Angel Wings, thank you for the super chat, girl. Vitamin Chaos, thank you. Oh, my God. Not boss on the collar. Stay mad in bling. I'm living for that shit. Yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to need something like that. A little blinged out one. I'll look on Etsy and see what we can have made. Uh, Crocus, thank you for the super chat. My first stream, but I have to contribute to the spike collar fun. BBJ deserves it. Thank you for the contribution. And thanks for being here for your first stream. I appreciate it. Not your average old lady. Thank you, girl. You're making me laugh so much tonight. Thank you. This is for BBJ's Gucci litter box. Oh my God. I could make her a Gucci litter box out of the purse box. Fucking make it into a litter box. Chantal will have a fucking conniption. Be like, mm, yeah, we bought it for her. She won't know. Yeah. Hazel Eyes, thank you for the super chat. Adding to the seething stew that's bubbling inside Chantal's abaya. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> Ashley, thank you again for the super chat. Building BBJ Feldman's Gucci Collection Dynasty. Oh, my God. This is psychotic. <laughs> Y'all are fucking insane. I love it. Girl MacGyver, thank you for the super chat. Gucci pet peds are a thing too. <laughs> they certainly are. They're like 1700 bucks. Like my bed didn't cost 1700 bucks. But I suppose she does deserve it, doesn't she? Jess, thank you so, so much for the super chat. Gucci blanket fund. I, I, see, I think at this point we're going we're gonna to have to. BBJ for mayor. <laughs> BBJ's hair grew back and chins is still bald. Stay mad, baby. <laughs> She's getting her luscious hair back. She's getting fucking designer gifts. <laughs> Someone can't relate. Valley of uh, Great Divide. Thank you for the super chat. Where's your Gucci collar? Oh, where's your Gucci fucking anything, bro? <laughs> 
Loving and caring. Thank you for the super chat. Gucci blanket fund. Yeah, it's it's as good as done. We have some shopping to get through tomorrow. 100%. Jess, thank you again for the super chat. Tiffany Cat Bowl Fund. Do they make those? Uh, okay, okay. This is a Sean Paul stream. Tomorrow on Twitch, I swear to God. We have a lot of shopping around to do. A lot of window shopping. If Tiffany makes the cat bowl, she may have a Tiffany's cat bowl. That's adorable. Adorable. Gucci needs to sponsor FFJ. If she would get a Gucci sponsorship and I could get an Adidas sponsorship, like that's it. That's it. That's that's my dreams come true. <laughs> Adidas and 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 uh, Beyonce just parted ways. There, there's an opening there. Come on, Adidas. What are you waiting for, Bug? I am here. Adorkable nerd. Thank you for the super chat. Anything for our girl PBJ? That's so sweet. I hate windows. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Gucci baby blanket is under 400. That's perfect. The Gucci baby blanket. Thank you for the advice. That'll work beautifully. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. I'm so spiteful. Take this for your diamond kitty litter. <laughs> thank you, girl. Fatima, thank you for the super chat. Towards the diamond encrusted name tag. How bougie. She's so bougie. I love it. More memes. Thank you again for the super chat. For a stay mad Gucci photo shoot. We'll get her a little tiara. We'll get her a little scepter. We'll have someone fanning her and feeding her grapes. <laughs> ah, uh, fast as you can. Thank you for the super chat. For BBJ Feldman's Gucci fur extensions. Can you imagine? <laughs> How psycho. Reba is my mom. Thank you for the super chat. When is Foodie Beauty's birthday? Is it possible to get the collar and blanket before or on that day? Also, love to you, BBJ, and all FFG-related fam and friends. Well, thank you for the love, girl. I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't think we won't be able to get it before her birthday. Um, her birthday, I believe, is on the 28th, March 28th. So we won't have it in two days, but it'll already be ordered in two days. And I'll post up, let's say, what we ordered on the community tab just so that somebody, you know, can see what's coming to the cat that they tried to murder on their birthday. Happy birthday, Beesh. <laughs> I love that for you. Erin Williams, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. BBJ does have the pretty privilege, but she deserves it. Unlike someone else. <laughs> oh, oh, and if I forgot to mention, um, Shannon and I will be live uh, this coming week, later on in the week, doing a little something real extra stupid this time, okay? Together. <laughs> Highly recommend everybody attend. It's going to be stupid. Okay. <laughs> We're going to laugh. KD, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. It would be a great thing as a group to do a charity donation match for each of the Gucci idea. BBJ gets, we spoil her and support shelters. Absolutely. But that's what I'm saying. I'm going to do it. I don't want anyone feeling like pressured to do it or anything. Put, put the pressure on me. I don't mind. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely going to do it. Violet Hunfler, thank you for the super chat, girl. At this point, Gucci should donate all of their kitty products for the advertising. It would be the right thing for them to do. It would be lovely of them. Doubt they will, but great idea. Aunt Maddie, thank you for the super chat. Please engrave any and everything with Stay Mad. <laughs> I thought we would engrave BBJ Feldman just to fucking stick it with the Feldman thing. I love it. I love it. Uh, Lisa, thank you for the super chat. Spike collar fun for BBJ. I love it. Oh, I'm sorry. FFJ. How dare I? Julie, thank you again for the super chat. Chins, we spent 40 minutes talking about a Gucci collar, but they, they're so boring without me. They have nothing to talk about without me. <laughs> we don't need you, baby. Um, Diana, Frenchie, thank you for bringing such joy to this community. That's so nice of you to say, girl. Thank you so much, girl. Uh -huh. You guys bring me joy. It is what it is. Oh, look who's here. Look who's here. It's Shannon. Hey, Salty Shannon, what's going on, girl? I was just letting them know, although I don't let them know what the plan is. I just told everybody that later on this week, we will be going live together. And the thing we have planned is exceptionally hilarious and stupid. It's going to be a really, really good time. A lot of laughs on that day. And somebody might just get triggered to the point of raging the fuck out. <laughs> It might happen. It's it's going to be a real stupid one. Looking forward. Desiree, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. Oh, for the BBJ Expensive Water Fund. 
you know what's so sad? Expensive water. When Ollie was dying, okay, I was so desperate. He wouldn't fucking drink. And I don't know. I, it's the first time I ever bought Fiji water in my whole life. I bought him a bottle of Fiji water, and it was just for him. I thought, maybe he'll drink it. Maybe it tastes different, you know? Fuck the bougie water. No one needs bougie water. He didn't drink the bougie water in the end either. Jess, thank you again for the super chat. For more feathers that BBJ can play with. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, listen, listen. So tomorrow, I don't know what time yet, but we will definitely do a stream over on the Twitch. Okay, we will go over all of the ridiculous pet stuff slash baby blankets, and we'll decide as a group which one we're going to buy for her, okay? It's done. It's done. The pettiness, it has to happen. More memes. Thank you for the super chat. For the Fuji water to put in her Tiffany pool. Oh, my God. This decadent hoe. This decadent hoe. Can we guess, are you going to recreate a foodie beauty scene? Not so much, but there's going to be a shit ton of mockery, put it that way. We're not really recreating anything. We're making our own damn scene. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I say nothing more. Um, yes, yes, I repeat. Thank you for the super chat. Just edited a bunch of BBJ pics. Oh, that's so sweet. Check your email. You can use them for the Twitch stream tomorrow. Thank you. I definitely will. Thanks so much for sending them. Uh, Bip Boop, thank you for the super chat, girl. Tiffany makes a cat bowl. They do? Okay, fantastic. We will watch them. Uh, watch them. We'll decide tomorrow again as a group. Desiree, thank you for the super chat. F the bougie water then and give her milk. I thought cats can't have milk. I don't know fuck all about cats. Anyway, I just, I thought you don't give them milk. I don't know about cats. Maybe you do give them milk. Anyway, neither here nor there. What I am giving is a Gucci collar. Okay, what the parents of BBJ want to give is the parents of BBJ's business. The parents of BBJ. <laughs> Wendy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Cats can have lactose-free milk. Okay, who knew? Who knew? I remember, you know, I always say my mom used to have that cat when I was growing up, that, that evil cat that actually looked just like BBJ, Nemo. But Nemo was fucking like four times the size of BBJ. Nemo used to drink this stuff called cat milk. I remember seeing it in the fridge. My mom would give it as like a little treat to the cat, but it wasn't actually milk. It was a product, I think, made by like one of the cat companies, and it was called cat milk. So I always thought they couldn't have milk. I don't fucking know. Anyway, anyway, we've, we're not talking about cats and milk and stuff. Let's get into our reaction, shall we? Like I said, two days ago, Chantal had the audacity to say that she was so devastated giving away the cats. And I thought, no, you weren't. We saw the stream not 20 minutes after I, me and my brother had left your home. You've never been so fucking excited. Uh, we didn't really go over that stream too well together. And it's my fault. I was like, dans la lune, we say in French, like my mind wasn't straight on the point, on the ball that day. So we're going to take a look together at just how devastated she was to give away the cat. Let me get the tab. Okay. So it was, oh, wait, where's me? There's me. Okay. It was called Beano Bees. And again, the timeline is me and French fried bro have just, just left her house with BBJ. This is the first you hear from her after she has just given her way, given away her cat of like, what, 16, 17 years, however old is the cat. But she was so devastated. What's going on with my phone? What the heck? Why is it calling people? No. Disconnect. Brand new Sherelle. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Turn Bluetooth on from your device in order to search. No, I don't want to. On your device, select the name that matches the name on the screen. I'm having technical difficulties. Hi, everybody. Messy, Josie, Tiffany, St. Jordy, Gemini. I'm going to, I forgot to unblock some people. Lisa. Hello, baby. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my Kuwait husband. Be Devastated, everybody. Her word. Devastated that she just gave away her animal. Smiling from ear to ear like a lunatic. 
singing in her car, about to go and spend a little of her paycheck. Life was good. She just gave away Sam days before, and now she got rid of the last little bit of responsibility she had. She hadn't been this happy in ages. Astrofet, thank you for the super chat. Basic. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you which bees are, but it is a views that we were. Hi, Missy. Mary Poppins. Yalla. Let's go. I need Beano and mascara because look at me. I look like a, I don't know. Hi, Veronica. Ava. Cancel. I said I don't want to pair my phone. Laura's Cozy Grotto. Thank you for the super jag girl. Hey, I'm Piper. Big toe. Toriana. So, oh, my chin's going down a little. That's what happens when you're sick. You lose weight. Okay. Well, I'm on empty. If you want to see for your just a little context. Her chin wasn't going down anywhere. It was spanked up real good. And she was still hiding, streaming on her old phone. Remember that she hadn't left yet for Kuwait and stuff. Old phone and all of the freaking uh, filters were in effect. Betsy, thank you so much for the super chat. Gift for BBJ is an animal lover and a survivor of DVSA and thyroid cancer. Not trauma dumping, but saying good always defeats evil. Light always shines through the darkness. This is for you, Foodie Beauty. Love you, uh, FFG, and everyone in the chat. Thank you so, so much for saying that, girl. I appreciate it. And thank you for your very generous super chat. Yourself. So let's go get some gas. <laughs> Thank gosh. <laughs> I'm the little for payday. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm going to be driving. Okay, people. All right. Let's bees. So, whoa. What are the odds? Okay. This is not a very big parking lot. What are the odds <laughs> that someone is going to drive out in front of my car, in the back of my car, right when I'm pulling out? Oh, almost hit this guy. There we go. All right. Let's pay attention to the road, please. I can buy myself. Wonderful message. Self-love. I could buy myself flowers. She really was singing the flower song because she thought she had given away the cat to Amy Flowers. Uh, just a sidebar. Anybody notice that massive snowbank? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know that snowbank. <laughs> Jess, thank you so much for the super chat. I still prefer my husband to buy me flowers. My husband can buy me flowers. Okay, if you're joining or setting he never has, though, has he? We've never seen your husband buy you flowers. I've never seen you ever be given flowers by anybody, like literally ever. Interesting. Anything to me? Wait till I stop and look at the chat and I will give you an arm wiggle. Deluxe. Yes, you heard it for a limited time only. I can't breathe. The gas is starting to press on my lungs. I know it. Yes, yes, I repeat. Thank you for the super chat. It's uh, French fried girl, all one word at uh, gmail.com. <laughs> Today, if you join, very important Beezers or loyal, Loyalty Beezers Club. I hope I don't run out of gas driving to the gas station because I'm lazy. And I'm going to the full cert one. You're right, Amanda. Absolutely. I was thinking that far back too. BB never gave her flowers. Cokie never gave her flowers. Pizzi never gave her flowers. She never bought herself any goddamn flowers. Cokie, uh, no, uh, what's his name now? The salad never gave her flowers. I've all already blocking him out of my mind. Nobody ever, never. Phoenix Flying, thank you again for the super chat, girl. Oh, I did something really stupid. Really stupid. I know I'm weird. Even yes, a Muslim and I'm still weird, okay? It doesn't change your personality. I mean, Allah made, Allah made me this way. So he knows what I'm like. So, yeah. Oh my God, is this true? More memes. Thank you for the super chat and the tea. They have DNA tests that can determine age. Okay, sidebar, because I've just never heard of this before. Is that something I would ask the vet for? Or is that something I order from the internet like a 23andMe test and like swab her mouth myself? Because I'm fucking down either way. As long as I'm being a good girl <laughs> and saying my prayers. Um, so <laughs> I can be weird all I want. <laughs> um, I did something really stupid. You guys remember for the past couple days, what is going on here? What's with the traffic? Anyway, by the way, anyone want to rent the villa? It's going to be up for rent. <laughs> um, I had stomach pains. I'm not ignoring you guys. I just can't look at the chat. It's illegal. So, um, and dangerous. So, um, 
I ordered, I ate, the only thing I ate today, the minute I felt a little bit better, you know, did my prayers and, uh, you know, by the time I prayed Esther, I was like, oh, my stomach pain's going away a bit. And I was like, oh, I can eat now. So I ordered paneer. I ordered paneer from a place I never had it before. Cause like, I don't know. It was just, I was, I searched hell out in Uber Eats and this I have to keep reminding myself, so I'm just going to say it out loud one more time. Keep in mind, this is a woman who, like 20 minutes before, gave away her pet of all those years, is now acting so devastated about having to give them up, and this is the way she behaved right after it happened. Now, could you say maybe she was in shock from having giving it, uh, giving it, giving like the pets away? Maybe it hadn't hit her yet. I suppose, but I don't think so. This was like her true self coming out, you know, no more responsibility. It's payday and I'm about to leave for Kuwait. Woo. Like no more problems. BM. Thank you for the super chat. First supper chat. Send me your measurements on Twitter. I want to make you a jalaba with three bands on the side. Oh my God. And Adidas jalaba. Dima Maghreb Habiba. Shukran Bazef. Thank you so, so much. That would be beautiful. I would love that so much. I definitely will. Thank you so much place came up probably the place i like it from too is halal i have to find out anyway so i ordered paneer and rice and i drank soda so i really can't complain about my stomach anymore it's my fault i'm done yay anyways so um i'm in digestion now i'm not sure i need to go to the pharmacy i need mascara and vino or gaviscon i'm not sure which one should we go to Oh, I'm sorry. I see some people in the chat like, what's a jalaba? Okay, you know how uh, Chantal is wearing what she calls an abaya? So like in Morocco and Algeria, they call the traditional, um, let's say, well, I mean, it, it can be a few different things, but one of the names or one of the types of a, like a traditional dress is called a jalaba. I have one. It's hot pink. It's really fucking cool. <laughs> There's also like a caftan is like the more like intricate with layers and beading and oh, you know what I mean? There's a few different styles and different types whatever but a jalaba is sort of like it's just like her abaya sort of for rexall i don't like rexall i want to go to shoppers what kind of pharmacies you guys have in the states you have is wedgman's a pharmacy right aid with the big cross i'm trying to think of what else in kuwait the pharmacies are like the name of like the person who owns it and then the name of the pharmacy usually yeah that's exactly how pharmacies work here too she's so She's not in shock. I'm I'm staring at her face trying to see is it like some kind of shock with her? I don't see shock over giving away the pets. I see just excitement. All she could think about was going back to Kuwait. It's like she didn't even realize the gravity of giving away the pets or anything else. It's payday and I'm about to leave again. That's all that mattered. Roma, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. Do, 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 do. I remember that people are looking at me weird oh well i'm leaving canada soon anyway <laughs> they're not gonna remember me okay so yeah bbj's gone and it, it is weird like like it was with sam at first it's weird going on my kitchen chair and her not crying for treats every five seconds and stuff like that um and like when i'm laying in bed um Interesting. Uh, here's what I know about BBJ. It's been like over a month now. So pattern of behavior has been established. BBJ doesn't scream for treats. Uh, she, I would say coos for food. <laughs> she follows you to the kitchen for food. Okay. When, when you're like <laughs> near, let's say, cra, 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 but it's more, it's, it's like a bird chirping. It's a very cute little sound. She makes asking for, for food. She doesn't cry. Uh, she doesn't act, like beg for treats or anything else every five seconds. She has a little routine. Pets love routine. She never had a routine before in her life. So she doesn't have to scream for food or treats or anything else when she trusts that at a certain time at, or at certain times every day, those things will be offered to her. You know what I mean? It's it's more just excitement now when you're like, brruh, 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 and you bring, like, let's say my brother will come with the, the little dish from the kitchen to like her spot. And she follows behind, like, she's almost skipping behind him, cooing. It's adorable. You know what I mean? But no one would call it yelling for treats. 
yeah, Chantal was starving her. I think Chantal would forget to feed them often, fall asleep and like fuck the cats. Or for all we know, maybe, maybe Sam was eating, you know, like maybe bullying BBJ off her bull. I don't fucking know what was going on. Point is what I do know, the cat never screams for treats or food at all. Uh, Yvonne, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, I forgot. I need to get toilet paper. Darn. Sammy, that's a great point. She was crying in pain. That is the most likely thing. Keep in mind, right? Teeth hurt, ears hurt, paws hurt, arthritis hurts, uh, UTI hurt. So every time your pet screams out in pain, you just hand over a handful of treats. That's negligence. You didn't care what was going on with the cat. Violet, thank you so much for the super chat. Okay, we need toilet paper, Dino. Don't let me forget when we go into the store because you're coming with me. <laughs> what else? I need some kind of mascara that's like a four. Yeah, AC, AC, I get what you're saying. Okay, AC said, to be fair, hold on, to be fair, well-fed cats scream for food. They're always starving. I get, I get that. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying that's why I started by saying it's been over a month now. Pattern of behavior has sort of been established. You know what I mean? BBJ does not scream for food. She does not scream for food. She like, it's like these little, I don't know the cat names for stuff. Okay. It, it's like she coos. She's excited and she trots down the hallway following you with the bowl. You know, she's not screaming. It's a, it's a very low, like a coo. It's cute. Portable, also drugstore. I'm not going to Sephora. It's spending 30 bucks on a yeah, mascara. It's like I... Exactly. It's like she's chirping. No, not going to happen. <laughs> I will go and buy a $10 mascara. Like the peasant I am. Actually, drugstore mascaras are pretty bomb. Don't you think? Anyways, so yeah, I rehomed BBJ. So I honestly, I'm just going to like let people talk about what they want. I am, I'm at the realization that... I have to focus on my happiness and my controlling myself, my emotions, my everything. Um, so this is how devastated she was. Not half an hour after giving away the cat, she's already me, 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 I, 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 I need to focus on me. Uh, I've only ever had two cats, but cats now are too fucking high maintenance and they were taking away from my me time. This is my time. It's about me. It's always been me time. You're full of crap. You didn't take care of them. And even if you did, it's cats, man. Cats is like a low maintenance animal. What does it take from your life? Nothing. They only add to your life. Sarah, thank you for the super chat, girl. Thanks for being here. Um, no matter what I do, and I realize this because I, I, I defend myself, it's futile. Like I defend myself over and over and people just don't care or they don't believe me, or they just don't want it to be true, or whatever. So, okay, so that's it. So the deal with BBJ is over. I will post updates. Um, I don't have picture updates for Sam, but I did get a text update, uh, well, my mom did, because she knows the people who Sam has, and they are taking really good care of him. Apparently, um, she shaved him, because there was a lot of dander. I didn't know, I, didn't, I never noticed this. <laughs> so she's maybe even a better pet owner than me, so maybe he's even in a better place, you know? Of course, he's in a better place. Maybe a better pet owner than me. It would be bloody unlikely that someone would be a worse pet owner than you. Let's just be 100% real on that. Lunar Flower Child, thank you for the super chat, girl. Did she just ask if Wedgman's was a pharmacy? She absolutely did because she's, um, yes, she was referring to Wegmans uh, and she's obsessed with watching all the content on this channel. So we've now mentioned Wegmans so many times because of Lushy, she brought up Wegmans. She had Wegmans on the mind, but still insists that, no, she does not watch anything on this channel. Just happens to come up with Wegmans. We don't even have Wegmans in this country. Oh, obviously. So, but I don't want to completely cut myself down. I still want to say I'm disappointed that I'm villainized for trying to do what's best for my cats because the bottom line is I love my cats. I still love them, but I loved them and did a lot to take care of them. And was I the best owner all the time? No, but um, I could well, we now know, I'm very sorry, but based on what was written by the vet that no, you didn't do a lot to take care of them. You you let a lot slide. You neglected them a lot. BBJ didn't have one thing wrong with her. As bad as the nail thing would have been if it was just the nails, like that was just one of the things. 
the ears, unforgivable, the state of the teeth, unforgivable, the untreated UTI, unforgivable. Even if you don't go into the things like the kidney failure, the hyperthyroidism, those are things, yes, that came on with age. Yes, things she might have not been aware of, although the vet did say at the last visit that they suspected a kidney issue, right? Everything else, these are things you check out their whole lives. Like, the fact that you left a cat with a UTI for God knows how long just festering, that's on you. The fact that the cat's teeth were never taken care of, never, 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 so she suffers to eat in her old age, that's on you. The ears, the ears that we know you were aware of because for years you had been making comments about, ew, like her bald spots stink. It wasn't her bald spots that stank. It was her fucking rancid ass ears that stank. The bald spots, the ears, everything smells clean and fine now. And the bald spots are actually filling in. She was constantly kicking at her ears because they were so dirty. It was like fucking up her hair there. That's on you. Who could smell their animal, have a smell like that and not go, wow, I'm taking you to the vet. Even if you did, like it was visibly disgusting, her ears. <laughs> How did you not see that? You're purposely not seeing that. Sorry. 48 hour fiance. Thank you for the super chat girl. Can I draw all of your babies or would it be hurtful? I would love it if you drew all my babies. It will definitely be hurtful. But you know what? Sometimes you got to feel. I love I love their little guts so much. I uh, I don't know how to say. Sometimes even the, the pain feels good when it's about Ollie and Maggie. You know what I mean? I miss them so damn much. Couldn't even take care of myself half the time. So, um, you know. But I did my best. Well mostly what I thought was my best. And I think what I did for them now is the best decision. Um, you know, if I didn't find any, like I was going to take her, like if somebody didn't say, insist that I don't have to bring her to. Oh, Jojo, Jojo just asked FFG, did you have to pay to get BBJ? No, I offered $3,000 and to sign an NDA and no one was ever going to know that I was the one who ended up with BBJ. She just refused. She insulted me. She called me a dog killer. She didn't want the money. She didn't want the NDA. Okay. Well, I ended up with the fucking cat anyway, but I could talk about it. <laughs> to the bet for them, they will do it. I would have taken her just to make sure she's rehomable. I'm not going to give her to somebody with all kinds of health issues and then not know about it, all this and that, you know, but so that was it. Um, because I was torn between What's the best decision for her? You know, she's very elderly. She's frail, blah, blah, blah. How much time does she have left? Quality of life. That's what the vet does. They assess quality of life versus, you know, so, so that's that. That's bullshit. Don't tell us what the vet will do because now, right, a month later, about a week ago, she confessed that she was going, the appointment she had was for an end of life consultation. It wasn't for just a, an assessment or an evaluation, or to get her nails clipped. You were going, you said it yourself, for an end-of-life consultation. So my instinct was correct. You were going to the vet. You were trying to starve the cat, trying to make the cat seem as weak as possible. You were going to go to the vet. You were going to try to get the vet to euthanize. If the vet wouldn't euthanize, you were going to give the cat to Amy Flowers. And that was your plan. I knew it was your fucking plan. You, you, you're psycho. You're psycho enough. Of course, that was your fucking plan. Hanny, thank you for the super chat, girl. I love those little Gucci and Adidas necklaces. The like, um, the enamel colored ones. They're so cute. That would make a really cute uh, tag for the cat. So the people seem very, very, very nice and excited to have BBJ. And I was promised that um, she would spend the rest of her life happy and eating lots of treats. So I know it's sad to see her. It may be shocking because my cats were so much. And she will but not with the lots of treats things. She will be happy, cared for, eating her special kidney diet, the way the vets would have told you to do for a while, and living her absolute best life spoiled in her Gucci collar and her little banana bed. Part of my life and my channel for so long. I still love cats, but I honestly don't think that for now I can't be a pet person because pets are a huge responsibility. Um, oh, Wiccan, I'm sorry for all the pauses, guys, but um, the chat is just riveted. I'm more in the chat than anything else. Wiccan mom, could the UTI cause the kidney issues? I know in humans it can cause a kidney infection. That's really interesting. I'm not sure. 
the vet didn't mention that or possibly did, but it was a lot of info that was maybe whoosh right over my head. What the vet did say was that the hyperthyroidism could have, could be affecting the kidney. That was told to me, but I, I'm, I don't remember about the UTI to be totally honest. They really are. And, but you know, I mean, it makes me a bad person to admit you know? I just can't take care of them now because I mean, my life right now is I'm moving to the Middle East and I just got a lot going on and they just would be really better off somewhere else. It's, it's good for them, you know, as well. So it's not a selfish thing, you know. But how did funny you cook Mary? So cute. Me? Oh, I cooked Mary the hamster? Hi, bye, everybody. Yeah, sorry, I'm not going to announce the person, but they did say that they will give me some updates, maybe when BBJ gets settled in a bit more. Um, hi, um, can I have... Um... She was so happy. That's, that's the, the fucked up thing. And, and I do get it. Okay, I'm not going to try and be so brand new. She was so happy until she knew I was involved. I get that. But everything she said so far about like BBJ's new home still stands. Absolutely stands. BBJ is having the best time of her fucking life. And the fact that she knows I'm not the one who has the fucking cat, like she should be able to chill on the cat thing, let it fucking go. And just know in the back of her head, both of her cats are, are really enjoying the best times of their lives right now. I can't speak for Sam specifically, but he seems fine. And considering where he came from, the odds are he's probably living his best life right now too. I know for a fact that BBJ is thriving in every way a cat can and probably has not ever been so well taken care of. Uh, 50, please. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's, you know, I'm not going to fill my tank because you know what? I'm going to be parking my car soon. Remember for 20 months, loyalty teaser. You did right by BBJ. Thank you for finding her. Um, Margaret, thank you for the super chat. Is that that like seven part bullshit that she did? If that's it, we reacted to that. If it's not that though, no, I didn't see it home hope you feel better thank you lolo and for being a little beautiful for so long ready set reviews who joined who just joined i saw somebody green in my driveway hello freya and i post videos daily of my yeah own butter pump it. that's a great point great point just two days ago when she mentioned about how devastating it was to give away the cats she also did mention that sam had been shaved about a month a month after she gave away sam first of all a month just passed Second of all, no, it wasn't a month. It was a week. Because look, this is the stream. The day she gave away BBJ, she had just given away Sam less than a week before. And Sam had already been shaved. So immediately they had to shave Sam. Just like immediately the first visit at the vet, they shaved baby uh, BBJ's whole butt and sides and everything because of all the mats. Yes, Missy. Missy, yeah, for sure. The only reason I'm not telling you who it is is because, like, for privacy reasons, I don't want to dox them <laughs> and be harassed, you know. Um, there was a, a person named Courtney Neat, and they were really nice. They were offering to take BBJ, and I was like, they were, like, my second choice because... Um, Let me do a little sidebar about that Courtney Neat fucking lunatic, and I do say fucking lunatic and stand by that. Courtney Neat is insane. Courtney Neat has been coming for me so hard out of nowhere since the whole BBJ thing. I don't fucking know Courtney Neat. The only run-in I've ever had with Courtney Neat was when she tried to do something, uh, something to fucking barbecue chicken. At the time that barbecue chicken got her channel demonetized and tried to pretend like it wasn't her because the, the screen name wasn't exactly the same. But then I had people, multiple people from her private discord sending me screenshots to show that, yeah, that was her, her sock account. So it was her fucking with barbecue chicken. I called her out on it on the fucking community tab. And this bitch has been coming to for me ever since. Now, Courtney Neat was the number two person apparently Supposed to get a uh, BBJ. Courtney Neat comes at me constantly on the fucking Twitter since then. If anyone needs to know anything about Courtney Neat, don't listen to me. Go over to Kiwi Farms. She's got her own fucking board about her. Like Chantal does. Like Hater Nation does. Like Amber does on Kiwi Farms. That should tell you something. Highly recommend if you want to see what a fucking lunatic is. 
<laughs> Hold on, I gotta pay. They sent me pictures of they used to care for an elderly cat and they had like a diaper on them and everything. So they did oh, offer. Yes. You, you want to step away? Yeah, I did. And you married? Yes, I married. Yeah. Good? <laughs> yeah. Everything's good? Everything is amazing. Alhamdulillah. 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 Shukran. The guy you met from where? Syria? He's from Syria, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey Tess, do you thank you for the super chat, girl? Oh uh, yeah, so, so one of these days. <laughs> Takes a while, yeah. We're gonna travel. We're gonna travel and enjoy the Middle East because I like the Middle East. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're Muslim, the Middle East is better than Canada for sure. Okay, listen, I really like the idea of doing BBJ merch under one condition. It doesn't become very exploitive because you know this one's going to start shooting her fat mouth about it. And number two would be that we donate all the money that that merch makes. All the merch money of like 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 BBJ merch or like there was that cute little Wally picture too. We could do merch. All that fucking money goes to pet stuff. It's the only way I'd be down, but I'd be down. I would wear that shirt. I think it's adorable. And we could do some good with it too. Who needs that? I don't know if I can need that. It's like it's like the memberships. I don't know if I can need it. Let's do something good with that shit. Okay, so Thank you. Luck. Good luck. Bye-bye. <laughs> don't know. Who the heck? Does everybody in the world watch me or what? Who's watching me right now? How do you? <laughs> oh, oh, I was just thinking in my head. Oh, my God. I'm opening a can of worms now. How the hell would I know one merch from the other merch? I do believe. I do believe Um, my second channel could also have its own merch store because it has now more than 10,000 subs. I do believe it can. So that's what it would be. I will do, I will make them their own fucking, a whole ass separate thing, completely unconnected to FFG. Whatever that brings in a month, there'll be accountability. I'll post it up on community tabs. And then also the thing for the donation from that month for the value of the fucking merch. Before a fucking hater tater, Courtney Neats and all the other bitch ass haters in this fucking community start with me. Why don't you bitches fucking do something before you keep coming for me? Hmm? Wait. Oh my God. Okay. Notice in public, Beezer alert. <laughs> Guys, a Beezer. How old are my Beezers? Okay. So let's go get something. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, let's go to Shoppers. I want to get a juice or something. Hey, Poo Poo Pee Pee. Thank you for the super chat. You're revisiting the day that Chantal gave away BBJ. Because two days ago, she said she was so fucking devastated. So we're just watching how excited she was to go and spend her paycheck. Whoa. Lights are bright. Guys, so yeah, I'm not going to reveal who has BBJ, but uh, like, I don't know. Yeah, I was laughing so hard because that took me aback. Like somebody in public being like, you went to Kuwait? Like what? Yeah. I don't know. That's weird. But that's cool. Maybe everybody knows about me. Everybody in Ottawa. <laughs> I'm a local celebrity. I don't know. So yeah, I'm not going to reveal who has Hey. Oh my god, okay. Right. I see someone in notice the in public. Wait, These are alert. Bladders, I she almost had an accident. I have to go back. How did I miss that? Okay, so let's go get something. <clears throat> oh shoot. Oh no. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. All right. I see. What no 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 no. She does she doesn't even like hit her horn or anything. Just no 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 no. Oh my God, you're the local sideshow. <laughs> That's funny. That ain't funny. I don't know. From what I hear, she doesn't have a good reputation in Corinth and that's where she's actually from. So why would she have a better reputation in the city that she's presently stinking up? Hmm? Think about it. That car should have smacked her. She's lucky they didn't. And it's winter and you can skid in the winter and shit. She's lucky that wasn't an accident. Aunt Maddie, thank you for the super chat. I mean, yes. And, and, and just, she's mad about a lot of things. Her life has gone to shit and she can't admit it now. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things stacked at this point. 
Nash Nashy, thank you for the super chat. Courtney and Wrangles LOL, uh, lol cows. She messes with yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to. She can't even fucking wrangle herself. Are she fucking? I, I can't let it go. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Trolls have to control themselves. If they can't, they become the real cow. You can't wrangle shit when you're the biggest fucking joke around. I want to get a juice or something. Shoppers, shoppers. Whoa, whoa. The lights are bright. Guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to reveal who has BBJ, but, uh, like, I don't know. Yeah, but I was laughing so hard because that took me aback. Like, somebody in public being like, you went to Kuwait? Like, what? Yeah. I don't know. That's Quarter weird. to three. Thank you for the super chat. A trill. Ooh, fancy. Well, <laughs> I'm a local celebrity. I don't know. <clears throat> I can buy myself flowers. I'm so tired of that song, honestly. <sighs> like, for real. Anyone else or no? Everyone's like... You're only singing the flowers song because of Amy Flowers. That's so weird. So fucking weird to me. And why are you sick of that song? Because you finally have a husband, but he won't buy you flowers? <laughs> Are you kidding? Bubbles, is that true? Thank you for the super chat. Merch, August 8th is International Cat Day. Of all the days, August 8th is the day I lost Ollie. Interesting. Huh, what are the odds? All inspired by it and I'm like eye rolling the minute it comes out. <laughs> Just because I don't like songs that are like all inspirational, they get on my nerves. I don't know why. It's like I can't be happy. <laughs> That's so bad. Absolutely. Thank you. Nick Nick, I that would be really nice of you. Thank you for the super chat and the offer. Okay. Let's just go for a ride. Sometimes it's nice to just get out, you know? And and but I am I have to I'm gonna have to make sure when I get home to do Maghrib and Isha prayer. And then Actually, I was going to thank you again for the super chat, girl. I, I wanted to do a little drive these, but because you guys aren't going to be driving around Ottawa with me much longer, it's totally sad. But season two, we're going to be driving around a lot in Kuwait. Um, I won't be driving. Maybe I can desert drive with you guys. I don't know. Inshallah, we will see. But <laughs> fast forward, she's only touched the steering wheel for all of ten seconds. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna drive in the desert bees you barely took us around ottawa you took us on the outskirts on your shithole of a what do you call uh, suburb uh, you took us to the <laughs> shitty places you what for whatever reason that you always wanted to go to the outhouse or whatever girl when did you ever really take us around ottawa this is something i used to bitch about for years i bitched about this how could you live in the capital and you've never taken the people around to the capital what's the matter with you you call yourself a vlogger. You have the audacity to say that. We've never seen your town where you lived. You never took us to like anything interesting ever in Ottawa. No, I mean, <laughs> insert obvious joke. There isn't much that's interesting in Ottawa, but there's beauty there. Like there's beauty everywhere. And it's extremely clean city. It's like freakishly clean. You feel a little uncomfortable. In winter, the Rideau Canal becomes the longest like fucking natural skating rink in the world or so it's some shit like that it's the longest something skating rink in the world anyway it's beautiful at night beautiful she never took us there ever we haven't seen shit now she's talking about oh we're not gonna go around to ottawa anymore bitch when bitch when brandon b thank you for the super chat who would win in a boxing match koki era chantal or destiny era amber oh amber I think both would be ruthless. I, I definitely think Amber could have fucked her up in that moment still. Cracked out Chantal was still not able to fight, I don't think. She would have popped like a balloon. Amber could have fucked her up. Yeah. So I had some, like, I don't know if I should talk about this, but you guys know from my past, like the, when I was in Canada before, I went to Kuwait. I was struggling a lot with... Oh, I'm not saying she... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm not saying she would have gone skating. 
I'm not insane her to go on the, on the canal skating. No, but to like film from the gr like ground, solid ground, film it. That's something. That's a vlog. Take us around downtown Ottawa, whatever the hell that means. Even I think it might be one block. I'm really not sure. Marijuana and stuff, and we're doing whole like 2,000 milligrams of edibles and everything else. So, God, indigestion. And another thing, Ottawa, this is such a weird sidebar. Is anyone here, by the way, either from Ottawa or like Alentour? Wiccan mom, I know you're, you're from pretty close. I'm not like doxy or anything, but what is up with the random mushroom place in Ottawa? I know it's now been closed, but it was open just months ago. And they didn't even try and hide it. It's just randomly on that like one, I call it the one street of downtown in Ottawa. There was a building. The whole side of the building was painted on mushrooms, like psychedelic mushrooms. <laughs> and, and <laughs> what is this? No, no, no. I, how? <laughs> Me likey shroomies. Mushroom palace. Exactly. Mushroom palace. So you're aware. You know this. How in the fuck are they? I mean, again, it's gone now. How did they just get around, away with that for so long? Hmm? How? How? Girl, all drugs in Canada have been decriminalized. Yeah. <clears throat> There's no mushroom place here. You don't just walk around the streets of Montreal on like the what I would call the, the one street of downtown and just there's a psychedelic mushroom place to go in and buy mushrooms. That's insane. We don't have anything like that here. That was crazy to me. Um, and <laughs> the guy's sitting on the stairs in front of the place. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, like, what is this? <laughs> what do you need to buy here? You know? And he just goes, a government ID and cash. Okay, well, how did they get away with that for so long? It was the most sketch thing I've ever fucking seen in my life. Just saying. No, no judgment, clearly. But I mean, it was it was wild to me. And then a couple weeks after that, I hear that they've been shut down. <laughs> yeah, to order them online, easy here. Yes, I, I totally agreed. But just middle of downtown. <laughs> Boof, on the middle of downtown. It was so weird. It's like, am I already high? <laughs> am I really seeing this? Phoenix Flying, thank you again for the super chat, girl. So, yes, you know that since I came back, I did, did do some. And I've been struggling with that, trying to stop it for my own well-being and because it's haram and for just many reasons. You know, I'm not going to be able to even do it anyway when I'm there. You know, um, so in Canada, it's like Canada and the Middle East are like night and day. They're so different. Even just my mind, like, oh my God, Pixie, I love that. Thank you for this. It, it showed her in the TikTok. She had her Canadian passport and she was like, I thought that, you know, my, my problems, I thought that I would go travel to Dubai and my problems like would be with me. And it turns out my problems were Montreal. And it's like, I'm not saying my problems are Canada, but definitely I feel like environment has a huge effect on your overall mental health. And not everyone is happy where they are. And that like people, I don't think realize some people don't have a choice. That's stupid. A hard, hard disagree. If you're miserable, you'll be miserable anywhere you go. You can't take a plane and outrun your misery. Chantal is someone who has been miserable and fully unwilling to face her problems for years. Anywhere she goes in the world, she'll be unhappy. She's married. She's got the ring to throw in everyone's face. She should be happy as a clam right now. And she's miserable, as miserable as ever, because it's her. It's not the location. Hmm? Location only like does so much. You're a grown ass person. It's not like you're a kid anymore. And I don't know. You can't outrun this shit, girl. And Iglesias, thank you so much for the super chat. And thank you for that. I will definitely check it out. Um, and yeah, we'll see about the merch. That'll be, I think it'll be good. We'll do something good out of this. Thanks, guys. I don't think people realize that, you know. And I think people will always be like, you're so ungrateful. You're in the land of the free. You're in the land, the land of the free what? Like, 
I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I really just don't. I mean, I know there's like, I'm so grateful that, you know, I'm thinking of the, the two earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. So I don't mean to sound like an ungrateful privileged brat, which I know I sound like as I'm driving to go get mascara safely and whatever, like, but I just, I don't know. It's a mentality thing. I just don't feel as happy here as I did when I was in, or as pe at peace when I was in Kuwait. Obviously, maybe missing Salah has some, obviously a big chunk of to do with that, but you know what I'm saying besides that? So I've been trying to not smoke and I really, 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 and like Salah's been so helpful with like talking me off the ledge. You know, and it's she was high every day until she left. What is she bullshitting us? I, I would hate when she would lie in these streams as if we're not watching her. Is she talking a salad now? I haven't smoked. Okay, I haven't smoked, but I've been taking thousand milligram edibles at night. Does that really count? Can you really say I haven't smoked? That was for him. She's lying for him. Oh my god. And again, this is what now. She started the stream 18 minutes. Uh, it's within an hour of giving away her cat. She's barely talked about the cats at all. It's not on her mind at all. It's like, like you flush them down the toilet. You just walk away. It's amazing. Uh, West Coast Girl, thank you for the super chat. Ottawa or Kuwait, which one is better? Ottawa can't compete with garbage dump campgrounds, decrepit windowless apartments, and don't forget the bridge. Ah, uh, yes, the bridge that gets filmed like a hostage out the side window. Uh, can't compete. You're right. Fucking Western world. Pugh. It's like, I think what I realize I have to do is like actually do it. Like usually what I do is when something gets really, really, really tough and I start panicking, getting that anxiety response that addict, you know, like your addiction would, would give you. And then you want to like, hey, Becky, give, thank you for the super chat, girl. or eat that extra plate of food that you don't need, you know? <clears throat> so I have to focus this attention this obsession on something good for me like i'm just like focusing on prayer and i actually like when i was i don't know how to pronounce it is it doer the second pray of the day i just like broke down crying i didn't even i don't even fully understand the arabic words but they have like the i have a translation when i'm doing my prayer but like just reading the words i just like out loud i was like started crying and i was like i have to focus on i have to just focus on god and gratitude and also something healthy like I need like a healthy obsession so like all that energy I swear I need to just take up and for me you know how I get bored easy with life right so I have to do something outrageous oh no so outrageous was slapping on the hijab and going to Kuwait this is crazy watching back I really didn't take any of this in when it happened that's amazing she's insane completely fucking insane. Oceana song, I totally agree. It does seem like a weight has been lifted off of her. She doesn't give a fuck about the cats. She really thought, or was she trying to convince herself that running to Kuwait was going to be the end of her problems? It's not even like it's the first time she's been to Kuwait. She saw how miserable she was there for the first three months. What the fuck did she think would be different this time? to be fully satisfied in a way from like drugs and all this other other lifestyle that's just too easy to just you know so i told my mind is altered and I'm, I'm i'm developing good habits so i really have to i want to do like six pack or like belly dancing or like in private you'll never see me belly dance but for fitness like belly dancing for fitness like i want to transform myself into something that i would never ever 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 imagine i could ever do with myself you know so i'm trying to focus on that thinking of my goals thinking of my goals thinking of my goals you know it's hard i cannot wait till i'm out of here because the temptation will not even be anywhere in kuwait because you can't it, it's illegal to drink any alcohol is illegal <clears throat> any weed is illegal anything anything like that is illegal so yeah um it'll be easier for me hi there's like nobody beside me. Hi. <laughs> I'm saying hi to an imaginary human. Humans. Okay, so we're almost at the shoppers. <sighs> All right. Okay, okay. Now listen, I don't know if this exists everywhere. This is Mo Morocco specific. I can only speak for Morocco because I've only seen this Moroccan. There's something called shichets in Moroccan. And they're exceptionally fat women, like massive 
women and they like belly dance and they really dance and stuff. And it's a whole thing. She has, although she can't dance. So I, I was going to say she has a future as a she but she actually doesn't because she can't <laughs> dance. I don't know if this exists everywhere. I'm speaking for one space specifically. It exists. They make a lot of money. It's it's pretty nuts. Yeah, Belly's scary, but he no carry. Mm. Maybe that's why he no carry. Yeah, so I'm just focusing on those things. Repeating myself driving. I don't want I don't like leaving dead air when I'm driving. Like just like Hey guys. What's up? Talk to myself for hours. There's a dollar in here. Dollarama bees for Big Turk. <gasps> Baby, I got to go to the Dollarama and get you a bunch of Big Turks. You have to try them. They're so oh good. God. Oh, God. Oh, You're going to bring fucking Big Turk to the Middle East where you can get actual and authentic, delicious Turkish delight. You're going to bring the garbage that is fucking Big Turks. What is the matter with you? <laughs> By the way, hi, everybody. <laughs> So yeah, as soon as I get updates on BBJ, like every few, like so often I just, my mind goes back to BBJ. So I'm going to get updates. Of course, I'm like anxious to, to hear when everything, like whenever I saw those videos and pictures of Sam just being so happy with his new owner, I immediately relaxed. Like I swear, I, I felt like a weight was just lifted off my body. And I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> and now I when that. So what you're saying is when BBJ receives her Gucci uh, items, you definitely want to see a photo shoot. It'll make your, your heart relax. You'll be able to chill. You'll see how happy and well taken care of she is. That's what you just said. Huh? <laughs> I don't want to hear anything, Chantal. You said you want updates. You want to see them living their best lives. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, my friend. Madame Medu, thank you for the super chat. That happens with BBJ, and I see her curled up and happy gonna be her. fucking sobbing on her birthday. Sobbing on her fucking birthday because BBJ's getting Gucci shit. Have some backup plans if it doesn't work out for whatever reason. You never know if it's going to work with an owner or not. You know, it just happens. Or if she's just too much to handle because she can be pretty demanding with her treats. She's she started doing this thing in the middle of the night. I think she has cat dementia. It's like wow, like really loud. So she has cat dementia, no doubt. No cat. <laughs> Dollarama bee. She does not have cat dementia. She's making that up. The cat was probably hungry because you were starving her, so she was yelling at you in the night. Bees. Oh, I love shoppers. I'm gonna miss shoppers. But you know, we'll wish you that, Abby. Where's the front door? I'm going to park as close. Ah, there it is. I'm going to park as close as I can. Start on those new health goals. Yeah, we're definitely, I see a lot of you guys, she was in pain. She was in pain. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Drive safe. I'm hyper. <laughs> a lot of sad stories and yet other surviving heartbreak. Hello, mistress. Hi, Missy. Hi, everybody. Who did I miss? Oh, hot wasabi. <laughs> Jogon, hot wasabi. J uh, I almost just called you Jogon. <laughs> hot wasabi. There's no fucking updates for Chantal. The only updates Chantal's going to be getting was whatever I decide, let's say, to put on the community tab. <laughs> Bloop. I got you, get bitch. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying it's been arranged. There's absolutely no fucking updates. No fucking updates. I upload a video on TikTok of the earthquakes happening in Syria. She Syria, put all Syria. her shit I've... on the internet. She tried to talk her on the internet and said, oh, no, yeah, she's going to send her fucking pictures of the cat. Like, yeah. In a row. Oh, my gosh. But I've, I've been hearing a lot of miracle stories. But we will. Out of spite. As well. Maybe Chantal can donate one live stream super chats to the cat's new owners to help them. Hmm. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Mayhaps. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I don't know if they need help. That's the thing. I found somebody who seems to be able to pretty much take care of her financially. So Saudi Arabia has changed. It's getting better now. I want to go to, we're going to go to, we're going to do, what is it called? Umrah? <laughs> Are we going to do that maybe? I think we should do that for our first trip together and like 
like really solidify our marriage in the eyes of God. What do you think? Older cats get that. Mine did the same. They get forgetful. Just us older humans are deaf, poor eyesight. Yeah. Caroline, we're going to... Oh, that's so sweet. Jinx, I like that. Yes. Because like, I don't know, unless somebody knows when her actually birthday is, but I have no freaking idea. I think that's sweet. FFG's birthday absolutely can be the day that we got her. We're going we're gonna to do a bees. <clears throat> Did I unblock flop error? I don't think so. I said it was beautiful back then. I'm kind of mystifying. Really? Sharon Stoner. <laughs> Hi, Sharon Stoner. Welcome to Very Important Bees. I've already set bees. <laughs> Thank you. I feel, well, hey, sweet, squeaky from the toilet bees. Courtney, neat looker friend. Yeah, it was her. I did see, a, I did research her, but everyone's a freaking mess on YouTube. Whatever. Very All I care up. about, even Hitler had a dog, okay? I'm just saying, I'm not calling her Hitler, but even haters love pets. So I don't know if she's a hater. I think, I thought she was pretty neutral. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. I'm just so tired of drama. Like I'm in this phase right now where I don't want any of it, you know? <laughs> To donate to the new pet families. Oh, that's nice of you, Missy. Now that song is stuck in my head after I walk around my house singing for a week. And happily married. Yeah, Gina. Umrah in Mecca. Let's go, baby. You and me. And me and you. What do you think? Hey, Sam B. It's all right. What you mean is okay. The Middle East is a beautiful, magical place. <laughs> I don't know. Try Bourjus Mascara. Bourjus? Um... I don't know, mistress. We're going to go in and look now. Oh, okay. Anybody know any halal eye, eye, eye mascara brands right now? <laughs> I just thought of that. Oh, my God. You look like Amy Roman on today. <laughs> I not hear at all. This is so, so upset dumb. with you putting BBJ down and you saying it. No, community tab. She's been rehomed. Check out my video. And like I said, I'll post update pictures. So if she if she is put down, then she's put down from beyond the grave. I mean, she's sending us pictures from beyond the grave. Which is highly unlikely. And actually, I have to believe in that, so... <laughs> oh my gosh a lemur yeah did you guys see the lemur this was funny to me at the time i remember because i knew for a fact that she hadn't put down bbj and a lot of people let's say didn't believe her even on this stream that she hadn't i knew she hadn't because bbj was already with the family right so this sets some a baseline of her behavior when she's not lying, which is interesting because she's so often lying. We kind of, we know the signs for when she's lying. This stream gives you a bunch of signs about when Chantal is telling the truth, the way she's over, like able to just glaze over something like right there, the accusation of having put down BBJ, she makes sort of like a joke about it and glazes right past it. She's never able to glaze past things. She harps on things. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? How come she didn't tell us that? How come right there she didn't start with that bullshit? Because that whole, where's the proof? And getting all defensive is only when she's lying. Look how easily she just lets it roll off her back when she's telling the truth this time. I was like, that's a weird pet to have. Kind of made me sad, but psychopathic for sure. <laughs> Tamagotchi. <clears throat> oh, hey, Elizabeth Ramona. Not put down the person can be heard saying call anytime at the end of the video. Yeah. But maybe that but maybe, maybe they're gonna come up with a conspiracy theory that just maybe I hired somebody to be part of the Chantal verse <laughs> and knock at my door and say that. Bourgeois. Oh, vegan option. Yeah, you're right. Hi Tanya. Bourgeois. Oh, okay, bourgeois, yeah. Bourgeois. Hi, Stan. Hi, hi, Sharon Stoner. Hi, everybody. Okay, let's go in shoppers. <clears throat> the interacting was super short because, like, I just showed him, like, the, the camera was out of focus, but then it focused and I could see his face clearly down at the stairs. And then he said the old, new owner's name and then things that would be doxy. So I didn't want to go there. So I just put a little snippet just to, you know, show you that, to assure you. Let's go shopping. All right. Let's go. Explain what again? What? I don't get it. The night you announced your fam had BB. Yeah, that was crazy. Fucking crazy night. What What do I need to explain again, Nancy? I'm confused. Um, What do I need again? Bino? Let's go.
<laughs> no, he was picking up the cat for his um I don't I don't even want to say who he's related to, but it's his relative. He was picking up for her. <laughs> but I'm in contact with this person and I've seen their home and who they are and everything. Go watch the yeah, you call every humane society in Ottawa. I'm not I wouldn't lie about that. If I put her down, I would tell you. Oh, inspired. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. I've been, I've been just following the chat to see Nancy's next comment. Okay. How she acts when uh, it's lies versus the truth. Okay. So tonight, this stream specifically gives us a baseline, in my opinion, of the way she behaves when she's telling the truth. Because this one, for 100%, I knew she was telling the truth in this stream. And she wasn't lying about having put BBJ to sleep. Because I knew that me and my brother had gone to get BBJ, right? So I knew for 100% fact, she was not lying in this stream. When she said, no, I didn't put down BBJ, I rehomed her, right? Chantal so often lies to us. So it's hard to get like a baseline stream where we know she's actually telling the truth. Look at the difference in the behavior. When Chantal lies, she gets super defensive right away, which is human nature. But if you're like, you know, not such a horrible liar. You would try to control those emotions. She can't at all control anything. She gets super defensive right away. And like, where's your proof? Where's your proof? And starts fighting with people, getting loud, getting obnoxious. The hand is in the air. That's Chantal when she's lying. Whereas tonight in this stream where she's telling the truth and somebody accuses her of like, oh, did you put down BBJ? She almost made a joke out of it and moved on right away. She let it roll right off her back. She said like, no, I rehomed her and moved on. She didn't feel the need to get super defensive and like, where's your proof? Where's your proof? Because she knew that she hadn't put down the cat. So it, it shows you the behavior when she's actually telling the truth, which just makes it easier to spot when she's lying. Cannabis store. Memories of me and you go on and on. Shoppers, everything you want in a drugstore. <laughs> it's pet idolatry. Humanizing animals to a point of absurdity. Yeah. I used to do that. <laughs> my cats were my whole world. And then a few days later, we find out how neglected they were. Yeah, sure. They were your whole world. Lies. You think it's sick the way people humanized animals. I think it's sick the way you neglected yours. Just saying. Uh, Snoopy the cat, thank you for the super chat, girl. I'm so sorry. We're part of it, but now, you know, just doing what's best for them. No, the new owner has no young kids or quarter to three. Thank you again for the super chat, girl. No, um, oh, hi. Hello. Do you know any uh, halal mascara? Halal. Maybe. Come on, girl. Vegan. Yes. So it's vegan, not halal. Okay. Yeah, that's our halal. So we have Pacifica. Yeah. Oh, that's the only one. Oh yeah, oh, Luminara. Sham. Sham. Sham was shaved immediately. Sam was totally. Totally shaved immediately. West Coast girl, thank you for the super chat. Putting down BBJ was so unimportant to her. Just something on her to-do list. Ugh, you're right. It was, and that's what got everybody so pissed off in the lead up to this, like cat, the end and stuff. She, she fucked, she fucked with our heads during that time. She was so cold and like evil about it. You know what I mean? It's what fucked us up the worst, I think. Libra, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. All right, I'm skipping way ahead on this stream because I don't care for her shopping at the fucking shopper truck mart. Why is it not working right? Or playing with the shit you got at shopper's truck mart. I need to go to Tim Hortons. I need a drink of water somewhere. Oh my God, flower power. That would be adorable. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Okay, let me see. All right, this Kia. 
Does it feel like an end of an arc to you guys? <laughs> it does for me. But honestly, I'm not mad. I'm not like sad about it as much as I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm like excited. I don't even know where I'm going. Let me get on the highway and then I'll figure it out. Life is a highway. I want to ride it. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh, my lights weren't even on. There we go. <laughs> BM, thanks for the info. I'm Muslim. There's nothing non-halal in normal mascaras if they are not tested on animals. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. All right. I can buy I'm just joking. <laughs> I want to take my gas X. I can't wait. You know your life is exciting when you take gas X. It's like your your main your main totally. thing. Raven, thank you for the super chat. Food and dick, it's what it's always been about, right? Okay. <clears throat> so I had Paneer. So I was thinking of going live on TikTok after. This was the best. This I remember from this stream. Her stomach is fucked up. She's got bubble guts. She's gone to the pharmacy to get fucking Beano and stuff. And of all the things you would eat when your stomach is already fucked, Indian food is what she decided on that night. Oh my God. After. But maybe I'll do it tomorrow because it's getting late. Babe, I don't know. It depends like how long late you're up. If you're up. I don't want to do it without you. So because you're my moderator. <laughs> and also I'd like you to be there. It's fun. You know. So if you're not too tired, I'll go live on TikTok. We have a couple TikTok channels, but it'll be on my Foodie Beauty channel, but I'll announce it before. Laura Steele, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. So thank you for subscribing to my TikTok and allowing me this opportunity. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's a good point, Bubble Curvy. Listen, listen. She was about to get on a flight. A fl Bubble Guts. Indian food, re like holding that in a 14 hour flight. She's just so, so smart. Such good planning. Holy crap. No one thinks like Chantal, huh? And thank God. Great aunt Rayleigh. Thank you for the super chat girl. She, she did. She really did. She made jokes out of it. Talked about throwing her in a wood chipper, something about like, oh, sweetie, you'll be in a bag. They put dead animals in a bag and stuff. Sick. Heavy, heavy. Harry. It's like, I can't talk to animals normally. And then, and another thing, and then last week, at like a month almost after this whole thing is done, last week, she accidentally confesses that the appointment she had the next day with BBJ was an end of life consultation. So we were all right. The fact that we got all riled up, the feeling that we all had of what was going on, we were all right about what was going on. She was lying the whole time and is still lying and just slipped the other day when she said that. I bet she hasn't even connected the points that she said that the other day. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Food and dick, that's what it's all about. For some people, that's called Saturday. Hey, listen, you <laughs> live your best life. I'm not judging, but you don't fucking try and murk some animals because of food and dick. I have a voice for every animal. But yes, um, so we're going to get some BBJ updates for sure. And, okay, let's go here and see if we can, is the highway closed or something? What's going on? No. What? Yeah, I think I can go this way. I'm not even sure. Is this for buses only? Oh, well, I'm a bus now. Okay, I'm not looking at the chat. I, I did see you say no worries, babe. I'm like peripherally. Okay, good. So, everybody just be patient with me. You know, when I drive, I have to ignore you. It's a must. Lazy. Yeah, Pam, she did. She had poo in her butt work. She was matted completely down, like both sides of her hips and stuff. And that's just, that's the, that was the least of her problems. You know, she was in some serious pain. Banana, Bussy, Arby's, Baja Blast. Way to ruin my Baja Blast. Thank you for the super chat. Banana, Bussy, Arby's, Baja Blast. Love from UK. Thank you so much. In Arabic. I'm learning some Arabic words thanks to my husband. And I know a lot of them bear now. Like my heart. But some of them, the opening verse of the Quran, I still don't know by heart yet. But I will learn. 
dark in here. Who turned out the lights? <laughs> are they easy to unfreeze? Like, where are they? Hi, Neymar. The what, Mary? Oh, hotbox Donna. <laughs> okay, let me get something to drink first. Oh my god. Let me just go. Maybe I should just go and get toilet paper and go home. I would die before I ever talk to as many employees in public as you do. I would could. Oh, I totally forgot the toilet paper situation that was going on in this stream. So what had happened, what happened was when she left the house, she had a few things to buy and toilet paper. And she came out of the shopper's drug mart and she's like a foot away from the front door and goes, oh, I forgot the toilet paper, but didn't turn around and go back in. She got back in her car and it was a reason to go down there where all the weed shops are <laughs> and get toilet paper. She still didn't get toilet paper, though, but she definitely got weed while also telling him on the stream, and yes, telling him that, no, she wasn't smoking anymore. Never. Never. You ask questions like a small child with peace and love, but it's your Ethan voice. Yes, hi. Do you have any, do you have any halal mascara? <laughs> do you have any halal oh mascara? Oh, easy. That is so cute. So he must love the watch if he brings it to you. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm going to argue about wiping. I say conserve TP by stopping right when paper begins to not show brown. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, yes, Neymar, I'm getting out. Prettiest ghost. This is the night that uh, somebody had filmed her incognito walking back to her car. Just let her use toilet paper. The heck? It'd be cheap. At least the woman under. She was wearing a hijab. That's why I asked her. Because she would know, right? Maybe. So that's why I asked. But apparently I asked a dumb question. There's no such thing as dumb questions, your teachers. That's just what teachers tell you to prevent you from developing psychological issues in the future. There are stupid questions, and I ask a lot of them. <clears throat> okay, Beezers. Let's go, Beezers. Let's go, Beezers. Let's go. Doot, doot. If I don't get run over by a car. I don't like going think weird places by myself. Okay, after today, I'm not. I totally agree with you. Buttered crumpet, this was the last time that she was genuinely happy. I, I totally agree. We haven't seen her this happy in Kuwait. We haven't seen her this happy when she figured out that it, it was me that got the cat. Um, this, this was the peak, the peak happiness. And it's within what, two hours of abandoning her second pet. Not going anywhere by myself. <laughs> I'm giving up my own independence. Right? I hate windows. I give it a few minutes. So devastated. Where am I supposed to get in on the sidewalk? It's really dangerous here. <laughs> She's excited as hell. Think about it. She's clearly gone down there, allegedly conspiracy, whatever, to get some edibles. She's going to go home, get fucked up. She's now has no responsibility at all. She, she, It's the anticipation of getting high. She used to do it all the time. Hemi, thank you for the super chat, girl. Can I get in here? No. I think this is like, okay, it's not exactly now when they were filming her because I think she was going back to her car, but this is while she was getting killed. Here we go. Oh boy, carrying this batch of car, it's not going to be fun. Oh, they have coffee. <sighs> oh, you're totally right. West Coast girl, my bad. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Ooh, smells like chocolate, yummy. <sighs> Have a whole bunch of women, like a whole bunch of hoes, come down to Kuwait. Like, that's not how it goes, man. <laughs> that's illegal, also. Adultery, illegal. Unmarried relations, illegal. So, good luck. Oh, really? 
than what was going on in that red room picture. Illegal sexual activity? <laughs> Not so illegal, is it? She's so like, I don't, I don't know if she likes to pretend or she just wanted to believe. Look how smug she looks right now too. Oh yeah, nobody ever breaks the law. Where things are illegal, that just sometimes makes things more exciting, Chantal. Do you understand? Ooh, that red room uh, fucking hookup was probably hotter than any hookup you've ever had in your life because there's the element of illegal there. Ugh. <laughs> CMC's black tooth. Thank you for the super chat. So do we believe MM's story about the scam she uncovered? It sounds like it's total, totally what Foodie Beauty got caught up in. Could be. Definitely could be. Who knows? That's all I got to say. But we're, it's not, not our business. But it's ridiculous. Like, maybe focus on bettering your life, you know, getting clean. You were just in rehab. Get a passport. Then think about those things, you know. He don't care about his wife or about his kids in another country anyways. Exactly. Just right. Then like getting to U.S. or Canada or I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> it's so completely agreed. <laughs> Dear, I, listen, maybe it's my bias. I am sitting here in the Western world after all. But yeah, her life wasn't great in Canada, but at least she had freedom. Now all she does is sit on a blue couch in a box raging at a phone. You're right. You're right. She's constantly in that room. She only leaves that room if he's willing to take her somewhere. He leaves, locks her in. All she has to do there is stuff her face and rage on the internet. There's nothing to do. She's not spending this time wisely. She's not learning anything, actually trying to become a better person. She can't drive a car anymore. She can't do fuck all anymore. And she's trying to convince herself that she's never been this happy because she finally has a wedding ring on. Like, who the fuck cares? I guess it's just that important to some people. So outdated, right, mistress? It's so outdated in the Middle East. Like, I haven't met anyone with an extra wife <laughs> since I've been in the Middle East. Um... That's because you only hang out with the pores. <laughs> Level up and you will. It is what it is. It's not super common, but it exists. But poor people can't support four wives. One of the first things, you have to be able to support multiple wives. You have to be able to treat them equally. There's there's conditions, you know what I mean? You live in the middle of a, a, a like a, ugh, I, don't, I don't even know what you want to call that place, okay? Nobody there has the money for four wives. Let's just be real. He's barely got the money to keep one fed. Lazy, thank you for the super chat. That's a good point. On cloud nine, thinking her animal abuse was secret. No one would ever find out. She just got to walk away from the problem. I'm a handful. So I'm like four wives in one, literally. So I'm good. <laughs> but anyway, I just, I'm done like talking about people in a bad way. It's just, it brings my neck energy down. You know, oh, you're eating dinner? Well, you eating? really? It's kind of frowned upon. It's not, it's, it's not how people think. They just think automatically. It's like, a, you know, you're Muslim, you get four wives, but it's not just like that, you know? No one can afford four wives. You have to provide for those wives. And if you're making a GoFundMe to get your wife to Kuwait, you have no money. You're broke. Yeah. So Kenny the dancer, thank you for the super chat girl. You can't even send your money. You're like, you can't. There's no way. Okay, so they told me that this croissant, it's a figgy sandwich. It has, I think, halloumi figs. Let's see what it has. It's a croissant sandwich. And I only said yes. Because all of the proceeds go towards, oh, it's got feta or something. Mint and Whoa. figs. Oh, my gosh. Um, all 100 of the proceeds go towards the Syri Syria and Turkey uh, earthquake aid or whatever. You see, that uh, feta had no business there. That This is what I when I talk about the feta agenda. It just shows up in the most random fucking places. It's a fig sandwich. The fuck did there need to be feta? Oh, it's like a whole lot of it in there, too. Fuck off with the feta. It's everywhere. Sarah Katie, thank you for the super chat. But I'm not hungry now, so I'll eat it later. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? I'd veto all the other wives. <laughs> I would be, yeah. Like, a man can have other wives, but she doesn't have to accept that. And is, it, that's actually terms for divorce, you know? So there's a lot of rules. Okay. Okay, picture it. Chicken salad with, I don't even want to say it. Feta, damn it! That fucking feta agenda. You're everywhere. Sigh, I miss S. Jam. Okay, everybody, picture it, Sicily, 2023. It's an alternate universe 
It's the sliding doors. Oh my God. Okay. This was her sliding doors. Instead of chasing after a 28 year old who doesn't love you, you actually accepted the fact that you had mad chemistry with somebody who looked like they could be your brother. And you actually, in the alternate universe, the sliding of the door, she hooks up with S Jam and they end up a couple. And we would just get to watch him drunk and her high on stream all the time doing the dumbest shit together. It would probably be very entertaining for us. She would undeniably be probably the happiest she's ever been in her life. It would be the first time she's had genuine chemistry like that with anybody ever. She fucked up. And it's all why to chase a 28 year old who doesn't want you. Girl, girl, you're in your thirties. You smarten the fuck up. You fucked up. Panda pup. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Thanks, Missy. Are you working tonight? <sighs> Hold on, I just wanna get this here. So this is a watermelon juice. This makes me feel so good and hydrated. So I love it. I'm gonna chug it. It's just watermelon. That's it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's like taking a shot of like energy. It's just like, you feel every cell in your body. Like I, all my body right now feels cold. Like every cell. Okay, that night, that night they did the live stream together, it's undeniable. The chemistry was there. <laughs> she just didn't want it to be because she didn't find him physically attractive. Who the fuck cares? You're in your 30s. It's not about that anymore. You would have laughed every day for the rest of your life, and that really matters. Janet Pirate, thank you for the super chat, girl. What is that little red thing in a Kuwait sandwich falafel? It looks like dog. What? <laughs> the pickled uh, turnip, I guess. I love those. Oh, is it being hydrated? Watermelon is so good. Pure watermelon. It's cold. What loser would want to be second best? I understand having more than one wife. You know, it's about having a bigger family. Each wife serves a different purpose as caretakers Absolutely of the family. Absolutely but... agree, Michael. Her and SM had better chemistry in one day than her and Salad have in four months. <clears throat> Waste of money to chug things. I know. I took the Beano. I think it's helping. Okay, mud slicker. I totally agree. SJAM is very problematic when drunk. The most problematic thing I've seen SJAM drunk drive. And that was the last time I watched anything on SJAM's channel. I'm not even going to lie. I was so just disgusted. It's one thing to get shit faced in your own house. Okay. As much as like drinking is not my thing, I, I don't shit on whatever anyone wants to do in the privacy and safety of their own fucking home. You took that shit out. You got into a car. You lost me at that moment. Like, I won't watch you anymore. And that's exactly why. However, if she was there, imagine the sliding doors and they've become a couple. He, he wouldn't be out driving drunk. He would have been on the couch, getting wrecked, laughing and live streaming with her. It would have been better, uh, better for him, you know, better for society around him. Put it that way. Okay, no more spoiling myself with this stuff. And I have a Belgian hot chocolate. <gasps> Yummy. <laughs> Precious juice. Babe, look at this oh, hot chocolate. Picks, is it? I had no idea. Thank you for the super chat. Watermelon is the worst for diabetics. I didn't know. Then I turned the camera around to show you, but they were playing copyright music at one point. It's like drinking liquid chocolate. Like legit. JP, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, okay, I'm going to be totally straight here. The, the only reason I started calling her Uncle Phyllis is because I was baked one night. And for no reason at all, it's like Aunt Phyllis, Uncle Phil. I was thinking, I don't know, it just popped into my head. The iconic Uncle Phil. It was like there in my brain. I was baked. And I called her Uncle Phil list for the first time. And I made myself laugh so hard with that. After that, she was just Uncle Phil. It is what it is. And the other day, Chantal called her Uncle Phil by mistake. There was nothing like hateful about it or anything deeper than the fact that I was really fucking toasted and came up with it. Yeah. Mm. We have ginger shots. Yeah. I like the ones that are ginger, carrot, turmeric. They're so good, mistress. What should I do for my birthday? Illegal answers only. Hookers and blow. <laughs> 
go to a mosque. <laughs> My Muslim partner said a lot of it started with wars and many women's husbands died, so they were able to remarry a many. Ah, yeah, there's it's not designed to make anyone miserable in the family, you know? Um, it's not up to the husband or wife, it's up to God. I mean, to, lay on the husband. <laughs> to each their own. I really believe that. If you don't believe in God, everything I say will sound stupid and cheesy. But if you do... The funniest thing when she accidentally called uh, the Aunt Phyllis uh, Uncle Phil. See, I have to th really think now. It's, it's automatic Uncle Phil. When when uh, Shannon and I saw Uncle Phyllis at the Walmart, and when Chantal says, like, oh, she would be at the Walmart, referring to me and Shannon, but, like, your fucking Uncle Phyllis was there, too. You're leaving that out. You're, like, trying to insult us with Walmart. We ran into her at the Walmart, so... You're kind of insulting your own family there too. And what's the insult? I love a Walmart. You'll never pry me out of a Walmart. Okay. I can walk around a Walmart for hours. I don't care. What's shameful about that? Are you jealous? Cause you can't walk. <gasps> Maybe that's it. Oh my God. She's never spent the time walking around a Walmart to fully appreciate the, the beauty that is a Walmart. So she doesn't fucking know. <laughs> Stay mad, baby. Jen paints. Thank you for the super chat girl. Where do you think we would be if she never got the channel back a year ago and if we never had a Cuba rage and all this current Kuwait stuff? Holy shit. That is sliding doors right there. Where would we be? We would be talking about someone else. We would have moved the fuck on. She would probably be on disability and a burden on the Canadian taxpayers. You know. I will show you here many chocolate fountains. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Why did that sound flirty? I can show you many chocolate fountains. <laughs> B babe, shopping beezing today. Thanks, mistress. Hey, I remember the first really cute thing you said to me that made me like, whoa, super attracted to you when we were first talking, when you were like, I was like, wow, I wish, you know, someday I could see Kuwait. And you were like, don't worry, you will, with the sunglasses face. <laughs> You are so confident. You will, and you will marry me. <laughs> Girl, get you a man who wants to marry. <laughs> There's chocolate of Harry's. Girl, Reese. get you a man who's desperate for citizenship. She needs watermelon to feel cold. Yes, in the middle of Canadian winter. Notice the snow outside. This was last month. This was like the peak, the coldest bit of Canadian winter. Snow outside, and her with no jacket on, chugging fucking watermelon juice just to cool off in a car. And she's now gone to one of the hottest places on this planet and is pass, is, is uh, planning on passing summer there. Well, I, I can't wait to watch her melt like a candle. Belgian Harry. <laughs> Harry match boost. Mm. Oh, Gemini Jim. I, I missed your message? Okay. Okay, interesting. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. If she had lost her channel, we would never have known what was planned for BBJ and you wouldn't have been able to stop it. However, had she lost her channel, she wouldn't have had the money to be a desirable mark for a scam artist. And so this whole Kuwait arc would have probably never happened. So she would still be in her misery, sharing rent with Pete's and now having to count money, right, on disability uh, with her two cats who would have had their nails growing into the pads of their feet and still been suffering with UTIs and filthy ears and not getting their little injections and wh whatever else. Hold on. Sorry about this. Asfa. Does that mean sorry, babe? Or is it? Yeah, Asfa. Where's Gemini Gem's message? Sunglasses faced? No. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, that's not sketch at all. Okay, where's Gemini's message? Nobody's getting only men multi- Hot box. Can you imagine you're talking to someone and they literally propose to you the second time you speak to them? Most people would never speak to that person again. Chantal ran to the other side of the world and fake married them. <laughs> if pain continues, you should really get your lungs checked before you leave for clots. Yeah, you're right, Gemini. You know, remember every time I would get chest pain, I would go to the ER and they're probably sick of me. Because it's always something else. Like, they don't know what it is or whatever. Asthma or... But I think it's, it feels more like indigestion. Sometimes I get indigestion for, like, two days. And it sucks. I just have to move around. Like, move my body around. And 
you know, eat relatively healthy. Are fig sandwiches healthy? Sure. Okay, I gotta go find somewhere to buy TP now. Because when I get home, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> TMI. Do I look skinny today? Let's try this mascara one more time. Hold on. Babe, do you think we should just do TikTok tomorrow? Or should I do it later? Babe, babe. Love it, see it's a bit. Rebees. I'm hyper. She's hyper. She's singing. She is so fucking excited. And again, this is the night she gave away the second cat. It's the chocolate. All right. She's unblocked. Is Flop Hair a man or woman? Who knows? Babes, throw that trash away. We don't need a heart attack, bees. I know. I, I got all healthy groceries, which means I don't want to. I'm probably going to order tomorrow. I'm kidding. You ever do a whole bunch of groceries and then order out and you're like, I'll cook tomorrow? You're escaping Canada. No, I never do that. I am the cheapest motherfucker alive. But here's what I always do. Every time I do groceries and like suddenly, ah, the house is full of groceries, that's when I'll always just make a tomato sandwich. Always. But when there's like, oh God, there's not a lot of groceries. I'll never make the tomato sandwich. When there's everything, all I want is a tomato sandwich. Uh, the same way people escape the Middle East. Yes. Yes. I know Dr. B's. So good news. Sarah Jane is not medically boring. Boring? What? Same, Cindy. Same, girl. I love eating at home, too. You eat at home. It's free. I know it's not free. You buy the food at home. But it's like it's free because you don't pay for it in the moment. <laughs> That's what counts to me. I think you may... Did I miss that? That went over my head. You mean boring? <laughs> Medically boring? I never heard that term in my life. That's a new one. Thanks for the super chat, Missy. I want to see you cook. Yeah. Okay, that, that's a real sliding doors moment. You're right. Marianne, Frenchie, imagine if she had never gone for the birthday bubble tea. It's coming up on two years ago, almost to the day. Two years minus two days. If she hadn't gone with Frank for that fucking bubble tea, Frank opened Pandora's box of horny. After Frank, she she wanted the sex doll for her birthday. She, uh, she found Koki very, very soon after. It, it started the whole fucking Koki thing. And the snowball of the Koki thing is what led us to where we are today. Fuck you, Frank. What do you mean, thank you, Frank? No, fuck you, Frank. Frank, well, where would we have been? Where would we be now if it hadn't been for that bubble tea? Nick didn't exist. Are we going to go back to this? We Listen, Nick did not exist. There was no Nick. Nick was a, a figment of her imagination. Koki was the first real thing there had been. Oh, yeah, Lynn, Lynn she wanted a sex doll for her birthday two years ago. <laughs> yeah, FBI Frank. Frank Dora's horny box. <laughs> Nick was Nader. Makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. Hmm. Sounds like ALR's wifey. <laughs> Nick unblocked her. Yeah, Nick always. You remember every single time, every single fucking time that she would have a fight with Koki at the beginning, Nick unblocked her. <laughs> Guys, you'll never guess who, men uh, who messaged me. Do you remember that? I remember that like it was yesterday. These people didn't exist. Fuck. I have a special surprise for you guys tomorrow. I have to try not to be lazy. Cooking is more fun than driving, really? I like driving. Zaina, you're in Toronto? Oh, Zaina, are you the one who wanted to meet up in the Middle East? You, uh, your name rung a bell. No, I'm so far from Toronto. Oh my God, no, actually, Dom was Koki. Dom was Koki. Disgusting. And the name Koki was born, remember, I came up with the name Koki because I refused. When we figured out who he was, uh, there's no fucking way I'm calling uh, somebody who shanks his girlfriend like an abuser, Dom. No fucking way. And so it was Koki. And it really, really bothered her. So it became Koki, 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 Koki. I was there and fucking sing it and taught them. It was disgusting and awesome. Uh, crack at Olympics. Uh, the good old days. Toronto. Are you going to Kuwait? Raviolis? She freaked out because I said she had a stroke. I heard it from Italian Mukbang Mama. But it's not true. She is just boring, not stroke-related. 
medically boring. Okay, yeah. You feel a lot more like crap when you make fun of somebody when it's like something. That was the best thing ever. No, 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 no. Leah, the picture she drew of Koki was so accurate. Suddenly, who knew Chantal was like, first of all, had a talent. You know what I mean? We've never seen her draw. It could have been a, we called it the composite sketch at the time. It looked so much like him. And then you remember the day with that stupid phone call and she had to flex that, oh my God, there's a man willing to be on the phone with me. And she flashed her phone to the camera and now there was a name to go with the composite sketch. Kiwi Farms found him within five minutes. Thing like that. I know what you mean. Oh, well, you're healthy, so you're fair game. No, I'm just joking. I was just ripping on her voice because she talks ah, crap about me. Graveyard Flowers, can you imagine? I wouldn't be surprised. Thank you for the super chat. Ah, it's a surprise. You are in the summer. Why are you going in the summer? Okay, well, maybe, babe, Zayna's the one who wanted to meet up and, and um, take me to dinner. So, inshallah, when you come back, we'll hit me up. <laughs> no, for fact, I'm flop is in her early 20s. She confirmed this during the Natter arc. Uh, Natter, sorry. Do you have a gallbladder? No. All right, guys, it's 7.30, so I think I'm going to go buy a TP, head home, mayhaps do the TikTok stream, more than likely. I want to try it out, so just be sure to um, subscribe, Foodie Beauty, check my community tab. Babe, do you know the name of my, um, YouTube, my TikTok? What does suck our tech mean? It is, <laughs> fast as you can. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> I know that sounds cringe, but it is. Whenever he talks to me in Arabic, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. The language is hot. You're disgusting. Tell us you you like fetishize a, a whole group of people without telling us you fetishize a group of people. When he talks Arabic to me, it's hot. It's so hot. Her voice makes me sick. That's enough. That is enough. Ugh. So that is all she had to do and the way she chose to behave on the night that she gave away the second cat. She's two days ago, though, telling us how devastated she was. I don't know. I stand by my original thought. That doesn't seem like somebody who's devastated in the least. That seems like somebody extremely happy to have walked away from the last tiny little bit of responsibility that they had in their life. And now can just me, 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 I, I, I until the end of time. The way they always had been. <laughs> Don't tell us ever again how devastated you were. What a great pet owner you were. and What a good human being you are. You're gross in every way a person can be gross. And the way you did those animals their whole lives is disgusting, Chantal. Ugh. No pity. No sympathy. No fuck all. You have no heart. No soul. You, you, you say things about I'm the devil and I have no soul and shit. Look at the way you were able to treat those cats after all those years. And tell me again about who has a soul. You're psychotic. A fat Canadian white woman appropriating Islam now. Absolutely is. Absolutely. She did. You're right. Two days ago talking about how she really wants to get another cat. Can you imagine? You, you have such a, uh, such a great track record with the last two pets you've had. It's disgusting. I am deep on girl world lore now. <laughs> well, actually, it's uh, it's been a hell of a couple of years. Ah, put it that way. Good times, though. Good times. But damn, we've been through some shit. I know that's a major part of why this group bonded so just sickly together. You know what I mean? Crackhead Olympics. It, it was. It's like a trauma bond. Having gone through that together, we have been through some shit. We have seen some shit. I love that for us. <laughs> Where's your man? Thank you for the super chat. It's so fascinating to me that she thinks Salad Boy is in love with her. I need to live this in the land. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? She's as delusional about Salad being in love with her as she was about Koki. It's almost the same kind of dialogue, you know, without like, you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Sure, girl. Yeah. He loves you. Koki loves you. Everybody loves you. It's it, it, <laughs> who couldn't love you? You're such a fucking delight. <laughs> she's a joke at everything that is happening to her now money wise and her happiness unhappiness is her karma slowly catching up mr well said girl i agree we have trauma bonded and formed a cult that's right fries 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 <laughs> oh my god 
Ah, oh, a BBJ video would melt your heart. We're not going to do BBJ videos. We're, we're going to let we're, we're letting her retire. It's her retirement. These are these are her golden years, her best years. She's retired. We will, however, have a little mini photo shoot when she receives her Gucci stuff. <laughs> you know we will. Why'd you do the photo shoot out of spite? Why'd you get the Gucci stuff out of spite? You have to do the photos. So that's what we're going to do. So listen, I don't have a time yet, um, but tomorrow, definitely, I'll let you guys know ahead of time on the Twitter and on the community tab, okay? We're going to go live at a certain point tomorrow on Twitch. Twitch is where we do all our dirtiest shame. It's our, our intimate beezing setting. We have something to intimate bees tomorrow about. We're going to we're gonna look at fucking Gucci pep collars, okay? We will decide as a group which one to buy and maybe a little blanket. It depends. We'll see. We'll see. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> this is what it's come to, y'all. <laughs> Charlotte, thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy Frank anniversary. <laughs> it was crazy. Charlotte, thanks for being there, girl. <laughs> and thanks for being here tonight. <sighs> thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. It was a crazy look back and a real crazy moment we went through. Poor BBJ. But I guess for this one, you could say all's well that ends well. She didn't get to do what she wanted to. BBJ is alive. BBJ thrives and BBJ will enjoy every last day of her life. And I'm hoping the same for Sam tomorrow. Y'all Twitch. I don't know when I, I'm, sh I'm ashamed of what we're doing tomorrow on Twitch. I don't want to talk about it, but I'll see you on Twitch tomorrow to, to window shop and decide as a group. Okay. Everybody. Thanks again for being here. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a great start to your week tomorrow, whatever you're doing for the rest of the night. And tomorrow, of course, be safe. Keep your masks on. And I'll meet you on Twitch for our dirty little stream. No judgment. Shut up. Bye, guys. <laughs>